right, ladies and gentlemen, now we got about 48 minutes until the launch of the Necropolis. I'm terrified, dude. I'm honestly so nervous about this because it's been four years since the Abyss of Legends. You know, at a hotel room in Mexico, we had the, the man in the chair, Carlos, and today we have a, a team of amazing casters, man. A, a couple of people are going to be jumping on. We got similar. Uh, Cam, maybe Campo, Vega, uh, but dude, I am uh, I'm very, very interested to see how today goes. We're also gonna, just going to be watching the Necropolis live stream from Caban and testing out how the volume is. We'll do well today, fellas. And upload them to YouTube or another streaming service so that we can review them for anti-cheat anti purposes. And if you uh, stream your runs, that's fine. Just as long as we have access. And let me know how the volume is in Again, comparison. Again, just to make sure everything's above board here. So do you have what it takes? We will learn Probably not. But I've got enough Again, units. <laughs> the game mode. Moving Hopefully right anyway. Along here, we are now joined by one of the creators of Necropolis from the quest side. Please so we're watching the stream. The we're trying to get any tips that we can. Welcome on in. Great to see you. Any, right any little hints that are going to save us from getting wrecked tonight. That's the main thing, boys. In January, Kevin was our first ever guest. We both forgot about it, kind of. <laughs> Yesterday during rehearsal, Kevin said, nice to better. meet you. And I said, not only have we streamed together, but we work together. But what can you tell everybody about your involvement in the creation of necropolis um yeah so i was the primary designer of necropolis i made all the nodes all the uh, buff designs stuff like that and of course our champion design team helped me build all those nodes i met uh, this a bunch guy. of great playtesters on our team and also a big shout out to kabam neuro who and helped me do Diablo. all the tuning and stuff for the content very fun, but all though. the the core ideas are come from my twisted brain. Oh, your twisted brain. <laughs> I love it. So when you start this process of building out this content, which is, is gargantuan, like it's big, um, do you start with this? Because you, you have like combinations him. of nodes and champions. Yep. Do you start with your champions? Do you start with your nodes? Is it kind of situational? What does that look like? Uh, usually I tend to start with the champions themselves. Uh, I try to find like interesting parts of their kit that I can either expand on and build up their strengths or ways to shore up their weaknesses um and necropolis especially the amount of freedom we had to kind of make new stuff for each champion um led to a lot of uh creativity in that regard yeah is the volume a little bit cool. better have, now or do we need to we turn talk up about a this bit? often but mcoc has this wide breadth of content that there is something for everyone yeah. if you want the competitive there it's there battlegrounds alliance war if you want just the story everyone loves a story go through those nodes just go through the story mode but this is like hard as nails, tough, difficult content. How do you find that line between difficult and challenging and what would be unfair? Um, so usually, I mean- They have that line at Kabam, man. More, <laughs> step forward, forward than um, Return to VP, which I worked on before. Um, so really for this one, we're trying to find stuff that is still like fun in the moment to moment like gameplay loop, um, but does have that extended challenge. It's Most cool, of the cool. like long form Everest content is kind of a, like a test of endurance in a way you're in those fights for a long time so it's something that people are going to be doing like over and over so we want that to be um like something that they can engage with in that moment but also something that you know tests them at that moment and necropolis especially is leaning a little bit more into the rpg side of things than previous content but mm -hmm. we've also eased off on some of the other things that i also personally did not like about prior long from everest content like random evade chances and stuff like that yeah yeah big I think win you big guys win have been doing a fantastic job the entire game team has like the last six months have been incredibly exciting in the contest with all of the new content the clash of the elders and and adding all of these different things and enticing different players to play in different play styles how do, if it's it necropolis is right here how are you feeling about the release and finally getting it out to people? Are you excited? Are you nervous? What's that like? Yeah, I'm uh, definitely excited. I mean, I've been working on this basically since the last time I was on this stream. Like, even back in January, we had the early design process going for it. So it's been a long, long road to work on this. I just, I'm ready to see it released and, you know, see people <laughs> find all the ways that maybe we didn't think of to beat stuff, but also yeah. the ways that we did expect it and really just to see how the meta plays out. I think that's an incredible thing about our community, and I talk about this frequently as well, that I love seeing our community come together, do this knowledge share. They're in the line chats, they're in the discords, they're in the forums, talking, asking questions, really doing this group brainstorm. I was hoping like new stuff would be uh, shared here initially, but this is the... Uh... 
the initial preview still. I'm trying to get like any more information I can, man. I've got kind of like a good idea of probably what I want to go for. A key to a lock here. I don't know if they're an unsung hero. It's probably the tranquilized nose and ramp it up on Titania. Probably gonna be. Don't want to ramp up on Sora. I don't want to fight for this type of content. There's definitely, you know, some design forethought that went into some of these paths. You might have been able to guess from our initial crystal launch that there were some champions in there who may or may not be good for long form content. Limo Gate, let's go. I'm not uh, using I see all today. those in, in decent number. Nice. Okay, I like that a lot. Let's pull in a question from our community that we have here. Um, from Was Good Gamers, uh, what was your guys' favorite part of making Necropolis? Uh, for me, it is definitely the creativity and, like, the freedom, really, we had for it. So, basically, like, with the help of the champion design team, we were basically just making, like, bespoke um, nodes and buffs for all these fights. So, Basically, almost anything we wanted to make, we could make, which led to doing some very fun and interesting things. So really just the creative freedom. Yeah, I like that. I feel like with some quest content, it's pretty regimented. It's pretty routine. You have pretty regular parameters. But for this, it does feel like you can kind of take the gloves off and get yeah. dirty. Like, get in, get in there, get nitty-gritty, and, and kind of mix it up a bit, which I love to see. I'm excited to see everybody tackle it here. Um, we also want to pull in another the question here. Uh, hey, is excellent. keeping the fights long yet fun a challenge? Do you plan it out? Hey, up there, or do dudes. you come up with the notes first and then see how long that takes? That's from Oh, Gallus. wait, I'm on the wrong Q one at the moment. 101. I want to build off of that as <laughs> well. This yeah. is really difficult content. We have time trial challenges in place for the first 10 to finish it. Mm -hmm. How long do you anticipate it? A full, like for a path for uh, Galio Cube, but also for a full clear, a full exploration here? Uh... Optimistically, I want to say like people will probably refine it down to maybe like 11 hours, maybe a bit less than that for a full exploration of all six okay. paths. Um, first one might be a little, or probably will be more than that, mm -hmm. uh, but that's just the guess. As for the other question, um, yeah, it's definitely a challenge keeping that balance. Um, usually, first step is kind of designing the- 11 hours, dude. That's so quick. In comparison to like Abyss. Right. With it over the length of the fight. It's Obviously, like the length of the fight is mostly determined else. by like the health pool. Um, so what we really want to get is the core like feel of the fight before we really like consider, I guess, how long it's people are going to be doing it, and then we kind of you know, figure out how things. people are going to be interacting with it. It's too complex. Yeah, Gosh. I think again, this is just such a unique piece of content to see if that from pays all off. the bespoke work that you've done to the first time um, attempts to, to to put in. I probably make the first path about two, interested. three I'm hours. To see people dive in I think my first abyss path is like um, six I just hours. Any other questions long stream, dude. It's a very long here. stream. Um, okay, what do you think? Can you give us like a little sneaky peek? Is there one path? That you might recommend people tackle first mm. to give you a good rep representation of, yeah, the, same of the overall thing or maybe just to get the ball rolling to gain, give yourself a little momentum and confidence and what's sure to be a confidence destroying so, piece of content i actually really think that your first path is super roster dependent sure um it's gonna sure. really vary on like what your roster is also what your personal like skill set is i guess mm -hmm. um there are certain fights that are obviously going to be more challenging than others. It's pretty hard to hit like a consistent difficulty across the entire piece of content. Um, so I don't know if I can say that there's necessarily one easy path. I'm sure the community will come to a consensus, but I do think it's going to be roster dependent. Um, there's, I mean, I guess the one thing I can say is there's one fight where you can instantly die, which I really don't think is even one of the hardest fights. Love that. But I people that. might not want to do that if they have any like nerves uh, going into the fight. Uh, there's another one that really tests your ability to well time block special hits, um, which I personally think is one of the hardest. I'm no good fights, at that. You can really <laughs> practice it, so you might want to avoid that one. Really, I yeah. would suggest you read ahead, uh, do your research, uh, and if you're not, you know, trying to get that first ten, first one completion exploration. Probably take some time to study what others have done. Learn from other people. The content mistakes. will always be there. It's always going to be there. And again, this that, doesn't apply to me, man. I got to do this now. I've got to do it live. Independent, right? Yes. So I think that's really cool. Is There's my research. I have the research. <laughs> yeah, I want today, maybe not. Yeah, <laughs> but before uh, the end of the year, yeah, I want to do a completion run at least to hit Valiant and stuff. Brilliant, boys. Um, maybe exploration. We'll see. Depends on yeah. time. Yeah. Because again, we talk about this, and it's important that people Love know. It. Kabam staff, we all play the game. This narrative that Kabam doesn't play the game is bonkers to me. We all play it. Not only that, we all earn our own account. We set up we're not the just giving ourselves well. champs, whoever we want. We're, we're working for it. So it is interesting to see who that among my colleagues better. are like, I'm in it today. <laughs> Bring it on. I got whatever Kevin's got for me. 
Um, okay, stick around because later in the show we will be giving out 100,000 units. 10 lucky people will be walking away with 10,000 units. Are you going to use it in Necropolis? Cool. Are you going to hang off Pretty big, and maybe dude. wait for Cyber Weekend <laughs> next week? Maybe. Whatever you want. Kevin, next question. If you won 10,000 units, what would you spend it on? Uh, realistically, I'd spend it on getting through Necropolis. <laughs> I like that dedication to the task. Yeah. I like that dedication. Um, okay, let's dive into something new here. You saw this for the first time yesterday. What's yeah. your, give them an, a preview. How exciting is it? Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's something that gets everybody involved in Necropolis, even if you're just going for a completion run. Uh, it's something that the community can all kind of rally around. Yes, I love it. That is the perfect way to bait that hook. Thank you, Kevin. I'm glad <laughs> I threw to you. All right, can we pull oh, up another slide? Thank here? you very we much, Punk Bay. Something new. Yeah. Are you ready for a new challenge, Summoners? Oh, I'm excited about this one, if you can't tell. We know Necropolis is going to hurt. We know it. Kevin did it. If you're mad about it, Kevin, not me. Kevin. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not Kevin's job. Be mad at me. That's fine. That is my job. Well, it's not. Whatever. Moving on. We know Necropolis is going to hurt, so we decided to do something to offset the pain. Consider it a kindness. Introducing the Road to the Crypt community event inspired by Seton and also others. What? <laughs> What's the Road to the Crypt, you ask? I got a Don't shout out, boys. That, summoners, we will be tracking the entire oh! MCOC community's accumulated Dude, deaths. Dude, that's amazing. Every single one. Yeah, I suggested this. This total will reach certain milestone thresholds, and those milestones will unlock in-game rewards ah, for let's go, boys. who completes Necropolis by January 15th. Dude. Right? These oh, wait, do you have to complete ne like. Necropolis? Left, no! <laughs> how many oh, that narrows it down quite a bit. Specific <laughs> I did right. It's started just that part. Deaths. There's a lot of you. <laughs> You're all going to dive into this game mode. We are excited to see it. 50,000 deaths. We start at an Abyss Nexus Crystal. John, not John, you know, friend of the show, showed me this list and I went, wow. <laughs> I don't, I like, all of this looks so good. Now, of course, Dude. multiple gates, multiple milestones, all the way up to rewards 5 million. Spicy, but there are some very good rewards in here. So everyone screenshot this. And again, this is just for playing it. You're going to die. You're going to lose. You're going to reset. You're going to get stuff just for playing. As long as you clear, excuse me, one path by January 15th. All right? Good amount of time to do it though, you know. Uh, the totals to keep you guys in the loop to let you know how many deaths you've Easy path guide, very important. Uh, on MCOC social media accounts and the forums. So check out the artist formerly known as Twitter. Check out the Instagram. Check out the forums. We'll be updating there periodically. It is worth mentioning that deaths on the first fight uh, of any path will not count towards the total. This is to, snop, to stop the sneaky sneaks. The cheaty cheats Ooh. from diving in <laughs> and just constantly starting a fight and losing on the first one. Any fight beyond the first one will count towards the total. The window will close on January. Come on, boys! I'm gonna get the death total from get uh, working on this uh, this one for the community. A path it's a nightmare. Time, We're gonna get absolutely cooking. And then distribute those shortly after that time. You're going to die anyways. You may as well get stuff for it. That's the official slogan. <laughs> Mike's nodding, it feels good. You're gonna die anyways, you may as well get stuff for it. That's the end of the slideshow. Kevin, how do you feel about this event? What do you think it's gonna bring out in the community? Um, I mean, I think most of the people who are gonna play it are still gonna play it, but it's also I hopefully going to bring in more people to at least try it, to go through it, um, you know, push for a completion run. If you get that completion run, you're getting a lot more stuff than <laughs> you normally would if you were good to wait till uh, later on. Um, so, yeah. yeah. I think it's very cool. I, I don't know that we've, I, I mean, I've been here a year and a half. We haven't done this sort of thing in that time prior to my time here. Maybe, I don't know. But I think it's a really cool way to bring the entire community together. Everyone's working towards a common goal. I say working as if it's an intended outcome, but <laughs> you're all accidentally stumbling into a common goal to all work together <laughs> and get these really cool rewards. And I think 
Just Damn. bring everyone together into one piece of content and have everyone trying to experience the same thing at a similar time. I think it's going to be very, very cool. Um, Kevin, anything else that you want to share Everyone's with now got, like, the ultimate code, right, of, like, it in. oh, if I died, don't worry, guys. I was just getting some points for the community milestone. This one was, was for the boys. I didn't, I didn't, you know, that was totally intentional there. I was Practice just trying to fights, do you know, my part for the community. The you will be able to love run those first love fights, it. so... Most of them are not the hardest fights in there, uh, but you should take your time to actually practice it, learn it, uh, research the content, read the nodes. Read uh, the nodes, <laughs> And really understand yeah. what you're getting into. Like, Don't read get like nodes, halfway Steve. down a path of 14 fights and all of a sudden you realize you need a counter for a specific thing that you didn't hey, kill a counter love to you, so. Yeah, I love yeah. that about our game. You know, it is a fighting <laughs> game, but at its core, it is an RPG game. There's a lot of really specific mechanics that operate under the hood within those fights lots of people so are gonna die i say lot. this frequently Anytime i think that's that gonna get hit like, oh, well, easily just, in like you, the first you're a young throne breaker account Jackson, like, hours? i am it just means that everyone else who's been playing this game there's a yeah. level of intelligence required to play this game and a knowledge at least a million will get developed hit. over such an amount of, like such a long time it's it's honestly very impressive to me so put all of that knowledge put all of those skills to use help your fellow community members and get through necropolis asap especially before january 15th kevin Thank you so much for joining us again on the show. Thank you for the having prodigal me. Prodigal son returns, etc. <laughs> uh, everybody, please say thank you to Kevin for sharing his insight on the creation of Necropolis. We'll bring you back again soon. Yeah, maybe. When, maybe uh, sooner than you think. Oh. Fun. All right, let's change gears here, folks. Thank you again to Kevin. We will be bringing in our next guest in just a moment here. Of course, if you are here for your units. If you want to win this giveaway, stick around in about 15 to 20 minutes. I need to open Twitch chat on my phone, man. I want to get the units. And you can be entered to be one of 10 people to walk 10, away with 10,000 shiny Dude, new units crazy. added to their account later today. Um, of course, we'll give you all of the details on how to enter in just a moment here. Kevin, lots of people said thank you. Lots thank of you. people said thank you. Um, CG King uh, one two three says, "How many fights are on a path?" Uh, fourteen fights. Fourteen fights. Uh, broken into two chunks of seven. Broken into two chunks of seven. You heard it here first from uh, from Kevin. All right, everybody, please help me in welcoming to the show for their first time, Stuart. Everyone say hey to Stuart. Great to have you, Stuart. Let's go, doing, Stuart. Buddy? I'm doing so great. Uh, I want to share this right off the top of the show because I love it. It's endearing. It's one of my favorite things. Stuart came to me at one of our uh, work uh, gatherings and said, hey, um, I'm working on something for Necropolis. Like, could I come on a live stream and talk about it? Which is great. Like, sometimes we have to go chasing people or we know something's coming and we need to put people, put a face to it and bring them on the show. Stuart came to me and said, hey, I'm working on the boss fight for Necropolis. Can I come and talk about it? I was like, sure. And he said, if you don't mind me sharing. He said, my parents love to watch me do any video content. They don't always understand it, but like at least they can see me and they, and I said, I absolutely love that, definitely. So shout out to Stuart's parents if they're watching. Hi mom, hi dad. Yeah, hi. everyone in chat, please. Big up Stuart's hey mom Stuart's and mom big and up dad. Stuart's absolutely dad. Absolutely love that, it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> so you created this boss so he's fight. done the grand master the, um, how are you feeling the that people one, are about right? to take on essentially your baby in in a about 31 man may look innocent but all emotions are high. Belly. I, I love that Boy, yeah, there's not a single breathe. emotion that isn't high right now yeah um, <laughs> maybe not rage i guess that probably rage. comes later when i fight him sure yeah or conversely, when people yell about how he's too hard, so oh, no, you're bringing that will bring me extreme joy. Oh, okay. <laughs> you and Kevin I told you, boys. I today. told you, man. Um, so <laughs> we're bringing back Grandmaster. I yeah. personally just this fought him a couple delay months in ago. My pain. He brought me great a later in the stream. pain and frustration, and I lost hours of Still my life and prob probably that. years off of my longevity of life. I'll take a minute, boys. <laughs> How do you bring in someone who's so prolific in our game for being difficult and then add him to difficult content, ramp him up, but not Thank make you, him Justin. unfair? Where That's a difficult task. How do you manage that? Absolutely. Well, it starts by fighting the Grandmaster a lot. I've probably now racked up more runs 
against more fights against the original grandmaster than the majority of players in mm -hmm. our game mm -hmm. i thought he's gonna um, say more than metal sonic did and, there uh, but it's impossible bro he's difficult yeah he's very difficult mm -hmm. and very complex and it is a fight that i think a lot of people will struggle with the first time they go through uh, mm -hmm. he brings a lot of new yo what is up hassan thank that, you very uh, much for mcc really haven't had to deal with before You're a super uh, instead of being you know focused on, on like one rpg ability that you bring to thank beat you, him Your words he requires uh, a player to really bring themselves to the fight and all of their skill he can't really be countered specifically by any specific rpg counter that uh, skill champion deeps. brings yeah instead he demands units. you do various challenges throughout <laughs> the fight units. this felt like such a great final uh final you know pillar for M for people who are playing their necropolis to mm -hmm. overcome yeah because you can bring so many different champions into the necropolis for different paths uh and the grandmaster um be requiring such specific skill gates uh can be completed by a pretty decent amount of the roster yeah so the issue though was he's already such a complex champion mechanically mm -hmm. how do you take a fight that is already breaching the upper limits of human comprehension <laughs> and make it harder without just completely <laughs> melting people's minds it's a tough it's a tough ask what yeah. do you do so the first thing we did was look at like what i kind of went through the fight and said is this mechanic right here in his kit, is this causing me to die a lot? If not, maybe we'll cut that one. Yeah, you told me that you went through what was what you found to be easier, and then we're like, we have to counter that, make that tough. And I think you touched on some really interesting things as well, because we do Yay. talk about how <laughs> being good at this game is kind of three elements that work in like a triangle cycle, right? Your knowledge, like easy, your roster, right? and your skill set. So I like I that. Shine. From what I, if from what I'm understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you're saying that we basically have all of the nodes and the fights leading to it to test your roster What's and your RPG though? knowledge, and you're like, this is skill. Yeah, cool. Nameless Grandmaster will test a lot of your knowledge of how the game works at a fundamental level. Um, you know, checking out some of your old favorite videos from like Dorky Dave and whatnot on how to brush up on some of your MCC fundamentals yeah. will probably serve you pretty well here. You're gonna want to be in, be able to control a fight, stay alive for different amounts of time, and pull off specific maneuvers when you are asked to. Yeah. I think it's very cool. You see um, Nameless Grandmaster on screen right now. He looks very cool. Is that chain mail or just a particular pattern? I don't know. I think he's just a fancy lad. He looks cool. He looks very, look very really cool and very in line with our um, kind of art direction for our Deathless champions as well. Of course, we've showcased um, Guillotine Deathless, and then we've also accidentally leaked um, other ones. No, we have Not visually. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, but oh, Tris, massive, massive thank you for the 20 euro super chat. Hello from Germany. Thanks to you. I'm throwing breaker now. Really hope you solo nameless grandmaster. There is zero chance, a 0% chance that I'm going to solo nameless grandmaster. But I appreciate your support and enthusiasm, it's sir. Odd, but like, as Thank I read very, that very comment, much. I looked over and I was like, no, like, you nailed it. You did great. I did it special for the people. <laughs> yeah, you up there, dude. That's a foul super I want to bring trip. another actual again. question He's from so the chat. Good. Webgems18 says, has Stuart soloed the new Grandmaster? Can he be soloed? Uh, okay, so those are two very different questions. <laughs> Extremely different. Um, I wish that I could tell you that I've managed to solo him. That would be a complete lie, though. Yeah. Um, they wouldn't know, though. You could tell them that. Yikes. <laughs> uh, propagate the idea that we should sure. lie to our players. Sure. No, it's a good thing, because we don't. And I think we've done a great job at revealing transparency and communication and honesty. I made the boss here. and he can't even and be in a try. So don't lie to them. That was bad advice. <laughs> and I am personally unaware of people at the company who have yet managed to get a solo on him. Okay. However, it is possible. Um, people have managed to solo certain specific sections sure. of him, which means that if you do all of those at once, because they're there are sections that are segmented um you will be able to you know get to the end without mm -hmm. dying however 
there are some complications that arise when you put oh. those sections together. For instance, certain... That's like the red light, green light in first phase. So he has like a squid game thing. And if that goes red, you need to stop really doing cool anything. I think players will be really excited to see it in some very interesting forms, although I'm sure a lot of people are kind of shaking their heads now. But uh, in certain phases, that mechanic can be bypassed with no consequences. And in other phases, there are consequences for bypassing that mechanic. So people who solo this fight eventually will likely have to respect reverse controls in each phase. Interesting. I like that a lot. We talked yesterday, and I came up with the genius idea. Instead of doing reverse controls, what if we did 90 degree rotation controls and then you go up and down and you said that's a bad idea and i said okay this is why i do what i do and you do what you do i thought about a lot of stuff and that actually did thank you very much yeah let's let's touch on that a little bit were there any ideas that you toyed with at some point that kind of got left on the on the editing room floor so to speak I need to give the men a seven lot, star and the reason for that was because one Stuff of the like ways kind of going touching back a little bit one of the ways that i tried to introduce complexity into the not tried to introduce difficulty into the fight without yeah. adding too much complexity was by relying on um the idea of children's games which is something that everyone <laughs> kind of knows if you've watched like you know, some shows like Squid Game and stuff like that, and things that, that took... That really famous children's show, Squid Games? Squid Games? <laughs> yeah, the children's show, Squid Games. Um, people immediately identify and understand the rule sets of certain games, it's such true. as, like, Red Light, Green Light, it's true. Tug of War, uh, Simon Says. Yeah. There's a lot of cool. really... Um, if you tell someone... Tug of War and the here, Leaked Billies? They immediately understand, have a brief idea. So you actually there is a Simon Says um, in Phase 2 and Phase 3. On the I love that. To help you beat the Nameless Grandmaster. I love that so much. You have no idea. I think that that's at the basis of, of what we do here and what this game is. It's fun. It's fun. I love his special three, man. nostalgia for so many people. I think tapping into a, a, something that people are really familiar with without even having to grasp at those straws is, is a fantastic way to approach this. It was the best way we could think to actually add that difficulty without <laughs> adding a whole bunch of extra rules that players need to memorize. Yeah. We just added rules that they already have memorized. I think that's fantastic. Um, if, we, if you guys have any questions for Stuart on the design of Nameless Grandmaster, please throw them in chat, tag at Kabam Twitchy D, uh, and we'll try and get them brought in here. We're going to be giving away 10,000 units in like five minutes, you guys. 10,000 units to 10 different what people. Stick around, we'll give you that info in just a moment here. Stuart, if you want 10,000 units, propolis. what would you spend them on? Would you wait for Cyber Weekend? Oh, Are you going to dive in a Necropolis today? What, the world's your oyster, 10,000 units in your pocket. What do you do? For someone at my skill level who's this driven to complete the necropolis, because I feel like I have to be the recipient That's crazy, of the pain bro. that I inflict on players as well, I think it's only right. Probably going to take a good portion of those okay. units to to get through my board. So you're going to get into it today. We'll then. see if we get a response. Uh, I'm certainly going to go in, investigate, test things out. I think that it'll take me a while longer sure. than a one day. Well, you know what. I'm not your boss, but take the rest of the day off. You can go play Necropolis, whatever you need to do, get it done. You worked hard. Everyone, you all appreciate Stuart's work currently uh, until you play it yourself. Um, see. We've got a question here from MCOC Haza in the Twitch chat. Again, if you're watching anywhere else but Twitch, make sure to come on over here. This is where you will be able to enter the draw. This is where you're able to get your questions read. Twitch.tv slash Kabam. Come say, hey, like MCOC Hatsa says, what's your favorite phase of the Nameless Grandmaster? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, I think, okay, there's so many for different reasons. I think, I think phase one to me is one of the most fun. Uh, you're going to have to pay very close attention to some to some like indicators on the HUD that are going to tell you like when it is safe to be aggressive and when you're going to need to achieve a whole new level of defensiveness that you haven't probably experienced in the game so far from an this is from an I can't believe they let me do this this is so evil uh, aspect phase four is probably going to Break some people's brains. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be very oh, no. excited to watch people attempt that one. Okay. 
I love to see that. Let's bring in another one here from the legend, Seton Man of Legends, of course, one of our content creators, who will be taking on a Necropolis <laughs> one immediately following the stream over at YouTube, on YouTube, rather. So go check that out if you want to watch one of the best. Get into it right away. Seton says, hey, Stuart. Be generous. Um, <laughs> and that's it, right? <laughs> what, are, uh, what are your tips for someone that is doing Necropolis Live as soon as it launches? And I will say my number one tip, not knowing the content, patience. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be difficult. Please be patient because the number of people I expect to see that get tilted right away, I mean, it impacts your play when you're tilted and angry. And also it impacts my life because you'll come and yell at me on the forums. So patience, everybody. We know it's going to be tough. Now, what are your tips from someone who has more insight? I have less insight into the actual Necropolis Pass themselves. I honestly wish that I could have uh, done more playtesting on, on those paths because it would have helped a lot for today. <laughs> uh, but I can tell you that you're going to want to pay extremely close attention to the counters you need to bring throughout the fight but also make sure that you do have some champions who can do the uh, Grandmaster mm -hmm. fights. Um, you're going to want to pay attention to both. The Grandmaster fight is a self-contained fight without a lot of the nodes from the rest of the Necropolis. The things that I can recommend for him are a lot of the same champions that could beat the original Grandmaster can beat Nameless Grandmaster, depending on your playstyle and how um, familiar you are with reverse controls. You may want to consider bringing your reverse controls immune champion. Sure. But again, there are consequences for skipping certain reverse controls phases of the fight. And my recommendation for champions who can do the Grandmaster are, above and, above and beyond all things, flexibility. You don't want a champion who has a tight loop that requires throwing specific specials mm -hmm. at specific times sure. in order to deal really any damage or stay viable in the fight. Mm -hmm. Uh, champion, I found a lot of success with champions like Gamora, who uh, just, you know, starts to ramp up with fury and cruelty yes. and deal big hits in, the into plan. the Grandmaster's wounded phase. Um, critical damage will be pretty good against the Grandmaster because he already ups your attack and critical rating while he's wounded. Mm -hmm, so that mm -hmm. bringing that third piece of the Triforce, so to speak, will allow you to... Good reference. Thank you. <laughs> will allow you to maximize your damage on his wounded phases. And then do make sure that you have a champion on your team who can inflict a damage over time effect or a burst damage type effect. Perfect. Because there, like the original Grandmaster, there is one phase where he specifically asks you to do that mm. uh, in order to not get a token of uh, incompetence. Uh, which, I love that name, by the which way. Which is what we renamed the number of token times. of blunder yeah. from. Oh, man. It's uh, going to be tough. I will also say uh, you will find the resource, the amount of tokens of incompetence that you can get in this fight much more sparse. Well, okay. you'll, they're, they're plentiful. You're going to you get a lot of them, them but you because don't want you can them. have less of them before you die. Perfect. Okay. Those of you hanging out here, again, make sure you're on twitch.tv slash kabam as we are going to be Perfect opening voice. this giveaway Perfect. in just a second right. here. Twitch.tv slash kabam. I'll give you a info in I'm just a moment. I'm going to be right back. We're going to do a lightning round. Keep them Final break snappy. Ready? Before we begin. From Alt 15 Drats. minutes. How long did it take to make him? I believe I've been working on him for about four, three, four months, but time does blend together. Perfect. It really does. Uh, from AFG034, if you die, do you have to redo completed phases? Uh... Similar to the original Grandmaster fight, he will have a preservative mechanic in him that will carry over a little bit of your progress. His health won't reset, but there are certain things about him that will reset between phases. Perfect. And from Simula67. Hey, Sim. Good to see you. Hey, Stuart. Hey, Sim. <laughs> Did any of the champs that you have designed perform particularly well in Necropolis or against the Grandmaster? Great question, Sim. Yeah, I, I think that... I didn't really do a lot of like consideration of that while designing because I can't really count on the fact that everyone has my, I think, six champs at this point. But I will say that I think Black Cat does pretty well in long form <laughs> content in general. Kevin's nodding behind she was you. Designed to do that from the beginning. Yeah. And then she also fulfills the ability to uh, inflict a dot in her uh, in the Grandmaster fight. That's so. true. 
I think it's very cool. Again, I've expressed my difficulty with Grandmaster, but I've also seen streaks of brilliance in people that have been playing this content for a really long time and have been going after Grandmaster repeatedly. Shout out to Pepe, who during our player summit at the Battle Realm Brawl, nearly soloed Grandmaster, walked on, like just first try, brought him down to 1%, got stuck in that last phase, but like, it was like eight minutes. It was the most incredible eight minutes of my life. My life's yeah, sad I'm, sometimes. I am, <laughs> I am super looking forward to the first solo cool. of, the, of this. I think that video is going to be legendary. Cool. If you are the, if you solo Grandmaster, Nameless Grandmaster, tweet at me and tweet at Marvel Contest of Champions official. Exit me? What What are we even doing here, everybody? Just g find us on social media, and we'll probably repost that, honestly. Don't swear in your video. All right, you guys want to win some units? Let me see in chat if you want to win some units. Again, this content is live in 14 minutes. All right, guys. we gotta, we got to start getting set up for this now, man. Oh, it's coming, boys. It's coming. All right, let me fire up the um okay cool gonna need to know how the volume is good morning good afternoon good evening similar how you doing i'm just gonna double check i don't have discord muted like a pleb Uh, similar, can you hear me? I can't hear you for some reason. I'm not too sure what's going on. One second in my sound settings. Let me see if I can... Have like another device enabled or something. I think the base Discord's coming through because I didn't get the... Uh, what is it? The calling sounds that came through. Okay, so let me just take a little playback one. Just in case it's an issue there. Pro streamer moment, we love it. <laughs> Oh, dude, I think it's working now. If you were, uh, unless oh, can you hear me now? Unless you were trolling, dude. Unless I was getting uh, no, big no, trolled. No, no, I, 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 yeah, no, I was not trolling you. It's all good, dude. That's the last thing I need right now. I'm a ball of nerves. <laughs> I got to do this live, and uh, you must have done something when you were fiddling with stuff. So okay, cool. Well, whatever it is, we've we fixed the problem. Welcome, everybody, dude. How are uh, how are you doing, man? Are you excited to watch all of that? I'm good, dude. I'm I'm super excited to see you uh, get through this. Oh, go get, get through this. I mean, let's tamper our expectations. This is an attempt today. Uh, we'll see if we can do it. But <laughs> I, I have faith in you, man. I have faith. Well, I, I'm pretty sure I got one thing I was looking at earlier. Right, is the map that Cam drew for the Necropolis. Um, at, like I think it was at like a bar <laughs> in Canada, uh, and he was just trying to like recite it from memory. And then I was trying to like layer that onto the positioning of the leak stuff to try and figure out like, okay, Necropolis is open. Where do I immediately start looking? Um, so let me try and bring this up. I've got Cam's map of the Necropolis here. I don't think the flow is like uh, 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 correct. Let me just share my uh, stream. Uh, what is it? My stream with you and the rest of the chat this evening. Um, it's going to be stream two. You're asking to uh turn me up i think oh yes sorry we said a candy okay let me like fully boost you up how is that now if you if you go to speak uh hello is this any better oh okay well wait, let me turn you way up um okay tr <laughs> try now try now okay testing testing is okay perfect better? is that a little bit better guys is that coming through okay <clears throat> So that was incredibly low at the start. But we always love to troubleshoot technical difficulties. Definitely. While live, yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> nine minutes before the the start. I mean, it's the best time to do it, right, boys? Uh, 
Uh, the volume is really bad for me. Is it low? What's low? My mic. Better now. <clears throat> okay, so it's, it's good for both of us. Yeah, you can hear me clearly. You can hear similar and the uh, the call clearly. All in a, a good spot. <laughs> hey what is up lime hopefully you're doing well julian thank you for tuning in stanley great to see ya chat absolutely popping off this evening we have uh what is it eight and a bit minutes to go so yeah looking at this um this diagram right um i think it's going to be like bottom left that we want to go down because i think that's going to be uh one of the places to start and like looking at the tranquilizer one that Titania, I think, is going to be a really good, um, what is it, just point to begin with and ramp up Aegon. And then we can kind of get that combo cook in. And if I get Aegon to fairly high combo, there's just a lot of a lot of things we can deal with, you know. I think a lot of Aegon's bad matchups, which are like Mr. Sinister and Havoc, were featured in Abyss, so probably aren't going to be in Metropolis. But what would you say are like some really bad characters to run into with Aegon that maybe we haven't seen in like uh, Abyss or Labyrinth. You can think of off he the top does of your head. counter like pretty much everything just kind of like being in the fight. Yeah. Like if you get him ramped up like there's a Mr. Fantastic in there that I think he'll be able to counter pretty well. I don't know like like Kevin was saying on the stream like it's more like RPG stuff so you know he has so much utility I feel like he'll be able to counter probably not every fight but like you were saying I think earlier, like, you know, if he's good for 30% of the fights, I think it'll be worth bringing him. Uh, definitely. That's just the, that's the plan is just kind of like, uh, scout the path, see like, okay, what's like a big red flag for Aegon? Is there anything that's going to like, just completely screw him over? Uh, maybe there's some sort of fight where you need to like, not have buffs, uh, to deal damage or something. Yeah. <laughs> just, just something, uh, that would, you know, mean that, go for a little bit of a different approach they're saying that your mic audio is fluctuating unless you're talking like right into it hmm, i'm okay. hearing it through discord too uh all right let me just open my sound settings here and make sure oh actually that is quite low to be fair right let me try the old unplugging it and then plugging it in again see if Now just broken game audio. Okay, cool. I is that a little bit better? Can you hear me now? I think it seems to be getting the right input. Oh, have I just broken my audio though? I think I did. The stream unmuted, so I'm just listening to you. Okay, brilliant. Um. How how is it looking now? Like, are we doing a little bit better? Seems so, fine for me. Okay, cool. Uh, I just screwed up my audio, but I think I fixed it. So let's go. See, you guys are admiring my arts and crafts. Oh, we are, <laughs> Cam. <laughs> it's uh absolute masterpiece <laughs> there. I was like. I was using your map as a reference this morning to try and figure out um, basically like where I immediately want to look when I enter Necropolis. 
So I, was, uh, I think it's like the bottom left hand corner is where the, uh, what is it, like the Sauron and Mr. Fantastic and Titania path is going to start. So yeah, I'm immediately probably like going bottom left, just tunneling down that path, seeing like what other 11 fights are on the path. And we're just going to try and figure out like what are the Aegon Road blocks out of the other 11. Um, to be fair, actually, we, I think we only need... We know uh, Titania, Vision Arcus, and Airwalker. And I'm pretty sure, actually, Aegon's going to be pretty good for that Airwalker. I think with the debuff shrug in, he's going to put in some good work there. Yeah, yeah I was saying, like, the, the easy the fights mess. are going to be first. Um, so. That Airwalker is definitely a menace. One mistake one like slip up and he's just sp3 and wrecking your face <laughs> yeah that's the big thing um is well it's it's not the sp3 i'm worried about too much it's that like knockdown timer it's like 15 seconds yeah. you want to knock him down or he's going to get like that giga regeneration and go unstoppable and that's uh you just got to exit out of the point uh, the fight at that point like it's not worth just staying in because you're probably not going to be yeah, able to reach yeah. you for I think you also possible. probably want like an armor break immune for him because he gives you that like nonsense damage whenever you have an armor break applied. I was I'm gonna have Doom on the team, but I was also thinking just for that, um, like Aegon should just be able to counter that, right? Because we can just shrug off the dark tide yeah. and get rid of the armor thing. So I, I think it should work. But again, it's kind of untested at the moment. I, so. I really don't think you want Doom on there because if you nullify his stuff, he does shoot up to SP3. Oh, that is actually really valid oh, as true. well, yeah. yeah. I, I Doom actually did work. Uh, I did like a little bit of testing on that Kabam iPad with the Airwalker and the Diablo, and Doom did work. Um, he was the best Mystic I played on that fight, but... Um, I guess just... he also does have power control, which is good. Yeah, exactly. That was the... Do you do you have a Wiccan? Um, I do have a Wiccan. I'm not that very good at him, and he's only like rank one. So I, I think if we are going to use somebody, it's probably just going to be Doom. I feel negative okay. towards Doom. And I've I got like I don't think the yeah I don't think the neutralize counts for the Airwalker abilities. So it does, it does. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, neut you can't neutralize him either. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, unlike Doom, Wiccan doesn't have power control. Right. So I don't know if you know. I. Um, I feel like Doom just for sending it in just just feels like a, a relatively like <laughs> safe bet. He's gonna get it done eventually again. We've got a ton of units. I just want to get through this and not lose all of my hair on this live stream. That's the the main <laughs> thing that we're looking for today. Just wanna um ideally though, like my mastery setup, just to show you in the last minute that we have, um, I'm just gonna ramp up Aegon, and my plan is to just absolutely pump everything that I can with Aegon. So I've got like a 38 offense build at the moment with seven points remaining. So I can just chuck them in the, the suicide masteries. Um, and then we can just go in. Like one of the really interesting things is that there's no stun on you on this one, right? So you can do some silly things with Aegon. Um, if you just get hit, like every kind of two, three combos. So you always have that six fury active. I was testing it out like at 1 a.m. last night in Labyrinth. And I was like, okay, this is busted, dude. Definitely going to use that. But yeah, we've got 40 seconds now. Oh my goodness. Oh, bit nervous, boys. Bit nervous. <laughs> but thank you so much, uh, Cam Similar, for joining me on today's live stream. And thank you for being here at the launch of the Necropolis. It's really appreciated. Hey, anytime, dude. Yeah, we are a duet. We go by Camula. So, you know, I just <laughs> want you to know that. There we go, dude. There we go. Right. I'm going to just get rid of the display so I can just uh, close the game. Just going to get ready to. Um, open as soon as we go on the hour uh we have literally five seconds remaining and then we're gonna open it and then oh, it's the the worst part of the streams like this for me is always like the start where i've got to like ramp up aegon i'm just gonna bank combo early just be a little bit safe um probably mm -hmm. do like 50 75 hits just because stream nerves as well oh they do they do definitely kick in a little bit here but thank you, Easy Pyre. By the way, that uh, rewards for dying is amazing. They are so oh, good. I'm so dude. glad you suggested that. <laughs> I can't believe they implemented it that, man. I think that's going to be like a really cool uh, event. I think we're going to get to the milestones a lot quicker than people think. 
Um, I, yeah, I can't I'm, wait to see where we're at after just the first day. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to be a huge funder of these milestones. Okay, right. Gents, have you also reloaded the game to uh, check Necropolis? Okay, it's open. There it is. Um, could you have a look at the end of the Titania path? Like anything... Again, oh, it's exactly where I thought it would be. So there's a vision arc. Is this an Omega Sentinel? Oh, gosh, dude. Uh, what does she have? Three punitive phases. Oh, parry on auto block. Oof. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is an oof there. But it, sh it should be okay. Uh, Gains extra low... armor up. That's not too bad. Oh, yeah. It's a, little, it's a little bit rough, right? Until Aegon, like, gets above the 999 combo. And then, like... Mm -hmm just goes crazy and then below he gets armor immune for four seconds it goes armor break immune for four seconds whenever either champion blocks an attack oh my god dude that looks horrible yeah but if you're using Aegon, you, you won't need the armor break anyway yeah so. yeah exactly i think that's the the plan there and then um whenever a debuff is purified off the attacker their controls are reversed <laughs> for four seconds oh my god dude that is uh that's really like Kind of anti egg on that one there. I think that's probably a, a Gamora fight or something. But uh yeah, God, that is uh that's interesting, right? And then what do we have? Necrotic plume spell slots. Whenever the attacker and defender has the same number of bars of power, including less than a bar of power, a 12 second timer has started. This is removed as soon as the defender and the attacker have a different number of bars of power. If this timer expires, the defender power steals all of the attacker's current power. And then we got the Psycho Mad. I think Gamora's going to do some really good work for a couple of reasons. Um, and then this is like, whenever the attacker blocks an attack, they gain 5% of a bar of power. At the start of the fight, the defender after the timer for 12 seconds, and randomly selects heavy special attack or block. If the timer is paused during special attack, you mark either champion as champion for performing a heavy attack. If the selected action is not performed before the timer expires, all of the attacker's buffs are removed. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> that's actually like, that's a bit harsh. Um... Uh, but what is it? Heavy attack, special attack, or but it should be fine. Like I think or Aegon's block, gonna, yeah. I think Aegon's gonna yeah. clap cheeks on that one, dude. I think he's gonna do a tremendous job. And then, uh, what is it? Oh, There's God, like a misty night. Oh, yeah. Whenever the attack uses a special attack, they cannot trigger the dexterity mastery evade or cause attacks to miss for eight <laughs> seconds. That's horrible, bro. That's actually horrible. Um. So what's that? Whenever the attack uses it, so you just actually, if you don't use a special attack, block. actually that's fine, right? Because you just, just use Aegon, right, and you don't use a special attack, and you're good. You can still block unless, well, I mean, unless you have unblockable specials, but yeah. Okay, and then if we went down that one, the defender's buff ability accuracy cannot be modified. The defender cycles between day and night icons. I do wonder if that note actually starts counting the eight seconds once you start using your special or once the animation is over. Because if it's mm. at the start of your special, you have like longer specials, you can just wait out most of it and not have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Product Boom Tempest. Uh, she has three phases. Fight start. While both of Storm's Tempest are active, if she causes an attack to glance, she gains a personal prowess buff. I think that's okay. Then it goes that one looks fine now. Yeah, just a Storm. lot of glancing on her. It looks fine. Storm really doesn't seem too bad to deal with. Um, I, I actually don't mind everything that I'm seeing on that path so far. But then we'd have to go for this one as well. What, what are the other... Oh, okay. So we'll just look at the local node on this. Whenever the defender blocks an attack, the attacker is inflicted. Oh. Five. <laughs> Whenever the defender blocks one. Oh my god. <laughs> but then if we're unblockable, right, it's just fine. Right. You can just get rid of them. I don't know. That's just. That seems pretty chill. Dragon Man. Oh, dude, I hate Dragon Man. I hate Dragon Man so much. Uh, whenever the defender is struck by a critical hit, they gain a dormant stun immunity charge. Okay. <laughs> so if I uh, bring in. Um... What is it? Friggin' uh, Aegon. I'm going to expect to have that all the time. And then we've got Cat, who has kinetic potential, gains like random class abilities. Should be okay. And then Nova is also one that we need to do. Um, so when the defender is... A stagger should take care of that Dragon Man pretty easily if you prevent his power buff from returning. I, 
I can still like get in and just kind of like nuke him down. Like I, there's mm -hmm. nothing I think on that kind of particular way of doing things that seems that bad. And I think we mm -hmm. could theory craft. Is the cap not gonna prevent Aegon from shrugging? He is gonna have a pretty close 100% uptime and that 100% uh, uh, concussion debuff. Oh, and I don't know that's... what the order of operation there would be. Is it the bull? Are you talking about the bulwark? Are you talking about uh, the, the locked on? The cap infinity war. Uh, oh, oh, I was thinking. Okay, wrong cap. Yeah. I think it's still fine. It's we can debuff. still get through it, and we don't need to shrug anything, right? That doesn't matter to because it's just the the dodge this node at this point. I don't think the other trap node kind of comes in. So I think we're fine. Yeah. I think we can plow through it. Um, at least that's what the uh, <laughs> the small hope is. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm just like looking at my team and thinking about like who else I maybe want to bring into the mix here. I don't really think there was kind of much that I'm going to use strife for in this path, if I'm honest. Um, I didn't really see like a whole lot of things. So I think maybe I just... Because I can disable Nick Fury's evade and just bring in... Um, uh, what is it? If I get rid of this... I was thinking about Strife for kind of like evade champions and any sort of like uh, uncounterable damage back. But sorry, not Spider Gwen. I want Quake instead. And then Quake also is kind of a thing we could use if needed. Actually, I've got the got the seven star out now. Maybe uh, <laughs> some sort of Hail Mary option there. So yeah, that's what I'm, I'm kind of thinking of at the moment, guys. Uh, are you seeing any glaring, glaring problems in the, the plan here? Uh, no, I'm seeing a lot more mic comments, though. Oh, I think I was maybe uh, facing away a little bit, so. <clears throat> See if that uh, fixes it. Sorry, I think I was just a little bit too far away from the microphone there was the main thing. Um, Yeah, I think I think we just got to commit to it and uh, get going. Your plan for Nova would be Doom, right? Because Aegon's going to... It's kind of wrecked by ramp him. him. Yeah. The unblockable will ramp him up right away. And also, he takes like 70% less attack rating versus unblockable hits. Yep. Uh, I think I could also use Gamora does, for Nova, right? So those are kind of like two options. Uh, doesn't he have something against guaranteed crits as well? I don't need to use a, a guaranteed crit, though, I guess. So I could still just play her normally. And then yeah. I think we, we should be all right which there. Trap are you, which trap are you thinking about going? Because that that might adjust some of these fights too for you. So it is literally just the 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 path that we kind of scoured out there, the Titania one, and then just go for this. Yeah, um, which trap was active, I guess? Is, oh, it's the dodge this one. Okay. Yeah, the dodge this. So I, I can basically just avoid using special attacks uh, with all of the champions apart from Doom. But then with Doom, I've got the power control, so I think I should be good. I think, again, the, the most difficult part now is just kind of like getting into the swing of things, ramping up Aegon, and just uh, sending it as far as we can. Let's uh I, let's see what I we do, do think bringing in Heimdall instead of the evade could be like, you know, um, I a think, different strategy. I think, uh, what was it, the Immortality and Indestructible one? Uh, gets nerfed. It's Hank of the Necropolis yeah, 3. Yeah, it's like a 1,000% reduction. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go for like the Evade Wouldn't safety. Wouldn't it still now. kick in on the SP3, though? Uh, oh, I don't actually know that. Uh, it, it's okay. If I, die to a sp if I die to a special 3, I've probably like got a good a good chunk of damage off of that fight so far. So <laughs> yeah, I'll right. be pleased right. with that. Um, yeah, I just want to try and like fully ramp the Aegon before a Mega Sentinel. And this Titania, I think if we like dodge back, it like pauses the, the timer. Oh my god, dude, that's just cruel. Oh, look how long her haymakers last. Oh my no, god. No, am I just like wrecked in the corner <laughs> here, dude? What what can I do? Do I literally just need to I think I just need to face tank this, right? Because I can't I could do anything else there, man. Oh my god. That's gonna make ramping him up if she doesn't cooperate. Uh yeah, I think once we get into the fight, though, we have the cope of this may not be so bad.
Good God. <laughs> <laughs> or is it just... <laughs> it's not even like me... Uh... Oh my God. Yeah, it seems like you just need to dodge her in the corner in order to stay close enough to her that they'd fall off. Okay, I'm just going to bank that combo. I'm going to get out there. And we're just going to go again. Oh my god, dude. That's nuts. That is actually nuts. Right. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be too bad once we get going, like, honestly. It's just like the initial, the initial bit does very much suck. Like, if she's throwing stuff right away, too, you can maybe hold off on the hay or, you know, prevent her from throwing the haymakers. But if she dashes back and forward, then you're, you're in trouble. Yeah, that's the main thing. So I kind of just need to, like, stay still. All right, got a, uh, I'll read some super chats here. So you've got one from Hulk Hammerman, 100 Canadians saying, I feel like I'm funding your units. <laughs> you certainly are, Hulk. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate uh, you, man. So Thank only, you. Only Zundog has joined the channel. Thanks for that, Zundog. What's up to you? Yours. And Easy Pyre with 999 saying, let's go seat and get that clear. Thanks everybody for uh, donations. Okay, I think I'll just special three here. Bank the hits. Gets us very close to starting with 100. And then, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I don't think I got hit by the chair just yet there. Why <laughs> Why did my stun not apply there? Did she have Haymaker active? Oh, no, it was the uh, take your medicine node. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I need to get uh, better at just... It's annoying because I need to like intercept to avoid this node, but I also want to try and avoid intercepting because it's a bit too risky when I'm wrapping up. Uh, but I do have the safety net of the Nick Fury of Aid charges, so there is that as well. Okay, let's go again. 76 combo, boys. We're almost there. 9999 nine, nine, <laughs> nine. is within it. reach. We're doing it. We're doing it. I am spying on uh, Karate Mike and his stream. And. Um... He's running a he's running a hell of a team, four Zemos and a Shuri. Um, that's the most Karate Mike team of all time. That's, that's <laughs> the most Karate Mike team of all time. Yeah. I uh, Zemo Gate, dude. It's Zemo Gate. Yeah. Got the official MCOC account in the chat saying, "Read the nodes, stop dashing back." <laughs> <laughs> Look, we we eventually stop dashing back. Okay, we got we got it. We got it down. Also, reading is hard. Oh no, okay. A little bit of a slip up there. That was 100%. That was cool. <laughs> very jammy play. Okay, I'm going to try and not get hit into the block now, just so I can, like, special three. I really don't have like a killer combo here, but I feel like I want to bank something off this try. So I'm just going to go in. All the hits I can. Okay, nice. We got 44 banked. This takes us up to 100 starting now. Oh, it is a slow process ranking up Aegon on a fight like this, but we're going to get through it, gents. Hulk Hammerman with another Canadian Dude, 100 bucks. Hulk, I need, to, I need to update you as the, the blubberiest whale uh, after this. Uh, thank you so much for all the support, man. I certainly really appreciate it. You're getting there, man. I see the health bar moving. Um, I used to not see it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks cam it's it's great to have your uh support and enthusiasm i think yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> after after this uh, first fight, everybody just like cozied up in their chair. They're, they're like, oh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna be on the stream for a, a while this evening. Wonder what what kind of like uh, variations of teams we're gonna see, or like you know, with Abyss it was like you know the Horsemen, and then that was pretty much it. But it seems like there's a little bit of variance here so far, from what I've seen. Yeah, Mike's uh, four Zemo team is definitely something for sure. I wonder if they. Uh... If they let him test stuff, or how much they let him test stuff when he was doing the promo vid. Well, yeah. what, we're gonna see how that Zemo team uh, team does, man. Like, yep. gonna, be, gonna yep. be interesting. I mean, uh, the thing is as well, just kind of like putting it all out there uh, live day one is is huge. You kind of knowing everything and also or knowing things, but also just being able to execute as well is crazy. I mean, this just looks. Harder than I imagined as well. And I just didn't even know what I was kind of expecting. This Titania has been a little bit of a wake-up call so far. She often is. Um... <laughs> oh, is that, is that so? Always, yeah. Oh, no, dude. Um... I, think I, I think I'm in a bit of trouble here. <laughs> Yeah, just getting in the corner, dude. It's a, uh, it's a rough time. Um, I, I'd like to point out Kevin Hugo in chat saying that this is packed right off, and yeah, that that does, that does sound about right. <laughs> Wait, what, what did Hugo say? Sorry. Uh, they said that there's gonna be a tax write off with all the <laughs> Oh, dude. It's gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna be the biggest the tax write off. Are good. <laughs> the biggest business expense in the history of business, dude. I'm not I sure how I'm gonna ramp Murdoch up strength on this. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just trying to do my part for the, uh, the community, uh, you know, deaths event, man. Deaths in the Necropolis. Oh, it doesn't count on the first one, does it? Okay, yeah, I don't even yeah. have. I didn't even have that Kothian for this one. Okay, Aegon, Aegon actually, we're starting at 200 now. We're in a really, really good spot. Um, yeah, this is, he's starting to really cook now and get a good chunk down every try. I'd really like to hit the nine, uh, the four ramp up before we get to Vision Arcus. I think we can just absolutely blitz through that if we can get there. It seems like you'll be there before before that maybe like Aegon he does really like start doing some pretty crazy things he gets a little bit of ramp I think kind of just saving for that special three Seems like my plan at the moment I think the vision Arcus is going to be a little bit of a uh... Do you have a revive counter set up that you wanted to add to the screen, or I don't want to do it. Keeping track of it. <laughs> oh, I'll let the people in chat keep track of it, man. That's a very, very okay. large number to try and uh, monitor yep. this evening. <clears throat> okay, I think we just get in another combo. I what I can here. Yeah. I see legacy in chat. Um, I'm sure they're all. Yo. Okay, I need to get Hulk up here. As our blubberiest weather of the day. We're on, I think, about 250 combos so far. This, I always knew, was going to be the most painful part of the stream. Like, once we get this man ramped up, <laughs> that... Well, I say that now, but really, it's, it's going to be a little bit later, isn't it? We've uh, a lot more bosses to go. I mean, I've barely dented the first one down. Uh, 50% so far, but we haven't even got to the good point of Aegon's ramp up. You know, it's still very early on. Okay. Hulk, thank you very much for your support, sir. Absolute massive love to you. And let's chuck another revive. Let's go again, boys. Let's go again. Yeah. 
Yeah, when do you two think you're gonna take some of your first um uh, runs in Necropolis? Uh, well, I am committed uh, after buying uh, the unit bundles <laughs> from the the monthly EQ. Uh, so oh, like, yes. within the next fourteen days for sure. Uh, but how are you I, feeling about uh, that commitment yes. right now? <laughs> uh, scared, uh, concerned, uh, kind of you know excited in in weird ways. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out uh, with. Uh, the, all the different runs going on. Everybody seems to be using like different teams. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see like the outcomes uh, and like how the mechanics works as well. Tim, when are you doing it? I know, I know you're in there right now. <laughs> yeah. So pro probably same or similar as you. Like I, I bought the EQ bundle and I can buy the the second one if I need to. Um, so it's really just trying to find a time where I can stream for. Know, two, three, four hours or whatever it's gonna take. Yeah, there are three bundles you can buy. Um, I think three identical ones. Uh, for the three highest difficulty of EQ, each of them thousand units. Each of them give like two thousand units worth of stuff that is like actually useful. Uh, I th think the uncollected one is different. The top two are the same though. I could be wrong on that though. I could be. I could also be wrong on that. So. We'll find out. Let's yeah, see. I think the EQ bundle for Cabin Thronebreaker is identical, and then the uncollected one is a little bit lower. Did we just yeah. have uh, Campo join the call? Hey, gentlemen. Sure did. Hey, oh, how's it Campo? going, dude? How's it going? It's good. It's great. Yeah, I had a little Discord fail, but I, I am officially on and watching this amazing Aegon ramp up. Looks about as I thought it would look for anybody playing Aegon right now. So <laughs> I love it. Yep. I love it. <laughs> uh, just pure pain at the start, dude. But we are uh, going to try and get that 999 for uh, a Mega Sentinel, dude. That auto block like looks absolutely lethal on her, but I think if we can cheese that. We're going to be oh, having a yeah. good time. <laughs> Have you looked much into some of the yeah, other fights? Beautiful. Have you had a bit of a scout around the map? You know, no, I, I just am kind of getting into all this stuff. I heard a little bit of the live stream, but I am just kind of fresh eyes on this thing right now. So I don't know much. No, it's all good. We've got uh, another path, uh, trap node that I'm planning on doing. And the node is um, if you use a special attack, on a champion, then you can't evade your opponent's special attacks for eight seconds. Ooh. But I figure that's quite trivial with probably Aegon and Gamora and just not using special attacks. But maybe I'm going to be very wrong on that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. There'll probably be something that kind of forces me to use specials um, at certain points, I assume. Or maybe, you know, uh... The timer would start at the start of your special, and you know you have Aegon's SP one that lasts like <laughs> five seconds. That is that is actually really really true. <laughs> so you could just cheese it that way. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, we'll we'll see how the the timer works and functions. What other characters have like obnoxiously long special ones? Oh, it's like Daredevil. Uh, Dead of Hell's Kitchen, Dead right? Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> top, just... top Necropolis option right there. <laughs> that that would be amazing. I would be so happy to see that. Man, strikers are really coming in clutch in this. Um... Oh yeah, for the Aegon ramp, dude, they're just so good. Yeah. It is pretty amazing how important they are uh, in this content. Basically, they pause the timer and they get you six seconds additional. And like, if you have a character like Wong, who can spam specials, they, he builds up striker meter so much faster. So the timer is paused during his specials, during the strikers, and he's getting them faster. He's just like, it's just such a compounding effect. It's pretty sick. I yeah. really like how they did that. Um... This, this Are just... you telling me you're planning to use Wong, Cam? <laughs> I would if I had him. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I've been blessed with Venom the Ducks and <laughs> Captain Sands and, you know, all the good ones recently. So lucky, my friend. <laughs> As an owner of a duped Captain Sam, I feel your pain. 
they did say they're never going to release a bad 7 star, and I'm like, I guess I trust you guys a little, but... <laughs> Testing the limits of that statement. <laughs> what is a bad champion, you know? You know, yeah. Depends on who you ask. Exactly. Depends Depends on the notes. Depends what's in play. They haven't released anybody Dude, you're diabolical You're absolutely yet. cooking now. Yeah. You're yeah. absolutely cooking. These hits are huge. Dude, now you've said that, <laughs> I'm doomed to the corner. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've. Yeah, Aegon is. He's really getting into it now, but it's really like that 750, yep. and I can start uh, taking kind of tactical hits on the unstoppable, and then like running with um, the like big fury. I've, I'm also going to bring the suicide masteries in as well with the build that I'm running. Uh, I kind of showed mm -hmm. Cameron Simulator that earlier. But I'm not equipping them just yet, just to get the maximum ramp up time that I can out of Titania, because I, I really do feel like I'm just going to need those effects, you know? Just, just makes sense to ramp them up early while you know, the fights are fully controlled. Yeah, like you've you've already got enough utility to take on Arcus. I think the Shrug is like 200 or 250 or something like that, so. Yeah, I, I think we should. Um, begin with Arcus. I think we can... Arcus is, I think, probably going to be a bit more difficult than certain parts of Titania, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens. I actually didn't even check. What if you check Arcus's note? That's like, I think actually one of the only notes I didn't uh, go in and check. <laughs> but right now, it's going to be like, shrug off debuffs. I've still got Doom anyway, so... <laughs> oh, if oh. you're using Aegon, instantly die. <laughs> 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 Passively special he might be a bit of a problem. Um, he might be a bit of a problem. You're going to be passively special locked for six seconds after using the uh, special attack three, which is not really anything. But then whenever the attacker purifies an armor break or cold snap debuff or prevents armor break or cold snap via immunities, the defender gains a power gain passive, granting 10% oh. of their max power over 10 seconds. 10% uh, of max power over 10 seconds is not that bad if it does not stack. If it does I was going to stack, say, if it though. stacks, you're in trouble, yeah. Okay, well, so like, it's going to be a few revives then. What's, I also maybe really like, love... what's the intended counter there? Like, resistance, maybe? Uh, Gamora? Like, like, are we... Maintaining your space, yeah. Yeah. That's really rough, though, for sure. Um, well, the special three thing is just so you can't doom cycle him, I'm sure. Mm, good point. Yeah, yeah. I don't think really this is going to kill yeah. Titania, but we're going to be pretty close there. Oh, uh, okay, I'm just going to bank the combo. Bank the combo, go in, and she's, she's dead on the next one. Yeah, 250k. Do you think... Go on. Despite the SP3 uh, on Arcus, SP3 node on Arcus special locking you, you still can Doom Cycle him. Uh, because it's a special lock, it's not a power lock. Uh, you're going to come out of it six seconds later. Um, his power is going to be relatively drained. He's not going to have SP3. You're going to be nullifying his buffs. You're going to be close to SP3 yourself. Um, He's resistant to power drain work. though, so like you have to. That's the timing true. seems pretty tight before he gets. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He'll be unstunned before six seconds is up, you know. So then he's just gonna have red bars of power, and you yeah. won't be able to do anything. Yeah. yeah. First fight down. Let's go. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Titania. <laughs> I'm gonna. Let's just see how Aegon does in this, because again, I really want to get this man ramped up a bit more before we have to. Go into the next match. Okay, okay, okay. All right. He didn't. He's not gaining the power game passive, right? Like, I haven't seen him get one. So I don't see it. No. Yeah, I don't is there something either. about the way Aegon is coded with like purify that it's different than modern champs or something? Hopefully. He's not like reducing the accuracy of it, can't is he? Uh, there's now something you... in the Necropolis about ability accuracy. Oh, there it, it is. Should, it... They are stacking, okay. yeah. I see it now. Okay, so the passive ones are from the node. It doesn't look horrible. It's Full gonna be annoying. On the special too, dude. 
I didn't even mean to do that. I think it wasn't me, actually. It was the Nick Fury synergy carrying me. I'm going to see if I get the stun mm. here, if I can, because it's only a 25% reduction, right? So there's a pretty good chance he's still stunned. Oh, I mean, yeah. you just did 10% in, like, less than a minute. Yeah, dude, we're kicking this off. I think Aegon's going to work, guys. I think, yeah. I think Aegon's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Karate Mike just finishing up in his live stream now. <laughs> He's just collecting the rewards. He's already on the crystal opening with his four Zemos. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and here we are, ramping up of Vision Argus. Ah, oh, but yeah, I, I feel a sigh of relief now that we've got him up to 600. We're at a good, a really, really good spot. It's quite easy to push him up now, too. Mm -hmm. Thousands. Just need to continue to play. God, that passive power gain coming in a lot quicker this time. Maybe like a live hot fix going on in the back end there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're literally watching this and they're like, mm, this can't stand. Yep. Could be a mic at the controls. <laughs> 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 Kabam Mike's just got a power game button that he's pressing until they uh <laughs> finish the, the hard code in. It is pretty cool that he's not shrugging your SP3 stun. Because Arcus does have... Oh, he does shrug it. I've got, tenacity, yeah. I've got to parry him and then take the gamble mm. that my stun still lands uh, on the Tranquilize debuff. It's like the main thing. I there. see, I see. That's true, yeah. So yeah, I go for this. Get the tenacity. And then I'm going to just chuck in a full combo here. Still got the timer. Then there's a 25% chance now I get wrecked. Um, but even if I do, I'm going to quit out anyway. So it's just let's assume we're not going to get wrecked. Nice. Oh, like we're getting the up there now. The chip damage and stuff doesn't really seem that bad. Or like when you're blocking the special two, it se it definitely seems manageable. Yeah, yeah the, the attack, attack will go will up. Not really high. They go up when you get to the halfway through the charges, right? But other than right. that, it shouldn't yeah. be too bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Um... I'm wondering for the non Aegon users, this fight, <laughs> this looks pretty nasty. Well, you can probably Nemo him. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? Sure. <laughs> I mean, if cleanse doesn't count as a shrug, then maybe. <laughs> yeah. We're tranquilized, um, like somebody like Mantis. I'm not bringing Mantis in the Necropolis, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she'd uh, be that good at the damage cap. Like Kate Bishop could probably do this fight. <laughs> that, is, that is true. Yeah. In the hands of like a good Kate Bishop player, she can just do anything. I'm wholly convinced. Well, she's right. got the passives too, so her damage won't be affected by the tranquilize, obviously. Yep. Oh, yep. that's yep. really, really yep. good point. Zemo gate for the win, says Chat. That's true. It was real. It was real all along. <laughs> I guess, like, also, if you brought in somebody to just deal with his buffs specifically, because he can't cold snap you without any power gain. So, like, like a Wiccan. Or somebody who can neutralize oh, no. them. I oh, I Wick Yeah, Wiccan's got the armor break immune too. Well, um, you don't want that here. Yeah, you don't. You don't so want the immunity. You want to probably deal with his buffs. I think. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take my seven combo. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> I was like, I'm dead anyway. I might, I might as well. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised by the lack of um, chip damage. Like, I was really expecting Aegon to get a bit more roasted, but I, I suppose he is getting rid of the armor breaks quite quickly here, so. We're almost at like 750, and then stuff actually starts to get really, really interesting with how you can play mm -hmm. Aegon and Necropolis. And then I think. I'll probably wait until I get 99, like the fully ramped combo, just before I put suicides on. I think I'm 
probably scheduled to ramp fully by the end of this fight. I think, as long as I didn't make too many. Are you uh, boosting too, or what's your boost situation? Yeah, I've got I've got uh, four boosters active. I think I've got a thirty percent okay. one, and then like two half an hour ones. Okay. Get what I can combo wise here. Almost there. I'm excited to the point where I can just play matches out and I don't need to leave to bank combo. <laughs> you say that now until you get rooted halfway through the fight on every special. <laughs> 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 that is true. That is very, very true. But it should be fun to see these in a, a little bit more depth. Okay, we're at 702. We've got. Uh, 297, right? Remaining? A few give more revives. Yeah, give or take. So he starts the fight with a power gain already active, so I don't think Wiccan would actually work here. He has no way of removing that. I'm trying not to think about all the horrible fights ahead, dude. That Got to fight that airwalker <laughs> in a couple of ones, and that is not a, not a fun fight. And then the uh, the Omega Sentinel with the three phases and all that stuff sounds fun. I think I can ignore the phases. I'm gleefully optimistic that Unblockable is mm -hmm. just going to allow me to hurt up my way to victory on that one. Yeah, all yeah, things I considered, like it's not taking that long to ramp him up. Yeah, I think we're doing all right. He is still uh. Having memories of the. Oh, you got it. Oh, go on, Campo. What are you saying? No, I was gonna say I, I'm having memories of that Luke Cage in Abyss and trying to ramp there, and this actually seems more pleasant than that. Oh, that's a bit tricky. Yeah, they put the hardest Abyss fight on the second fight of the path. <laughs> Yeah, ramping on like Thing and Luke Cage were difficult fights. And what was it? The right hand side, you like Iron Man Infinity War is <laughs> the, the first boss there. So that wasn't really like, especially with the tech node in Abyss, you know, the one that stole the power. It was just like a near impossible fight to ramp Aegon up. It wasn't impossible. You just have to be very slow and very patient. But uh, we're getting there, man. 771. Almost got that full. Out Aegon combo, and we also get was it the combo shield on each one of the crits now, which is, is pretty huge. Saying Mike got ambushed on one of his paths, I didn't know that was a thing. You can get oh, ambushed. ambushes. Oh no, what did he get uh, ambushed? I they said by? there were no ambushes. I don't know if it's anything harder than a golden adaptoid, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> <laughs> Is it those like classic Act Four Golden Adaptoids or the? Uh... It's a uh, Deadpooloid, uh, Treasure Deadpooloid, and it's got Ooh. like 140k health. Very easy, it seems. Oh, okay, that that seems quite pleasant. I do wonder what it gives. Um, I am curious. Now, does that count as one of the 14 fights on the path, or is that like a 15th fight? I don't think I got a 15th fight for sure. Okay. Yeah. That would be nice. We're almost there. Was it 804 now? Ooh. Yeah, man. It's coming, dude. It's coming. You're getting there. You're getting there. The full god mode. <laughs> I've already got the unstoppables. That's half the battle. I just took a, a cheeky hit there, but I should probably not take it. Need more hits. I just I need more time to um on the Sarkis. Oh no, that's no good. Um let me just put that out. I was cooking for a lot of uh pulls there, man. I wasn't getting too bushed. What um what path did uh Karate Mike choose? Did he go uh straight down the middle if he was going to the Namor one, I think. Yeah, yeah. With... Or re uh, Mr. Fantastic, Fantastic yeah. and Namor. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Dude, I'm reading some of these other nodes, and this Thoron he has a 50% chance to evade all medium attacks. That's the and, isn't that the trap uh, node, right? That lasts for like all that path plus all the other things. Um, I think that's his local node. Well, yeah, that is the trap node. Amazing, yeah, that that does last <laughs> the whole path. What uh, what's Soren's like individual node? What does he have on him? Uh, he gets. Whenever he's struck by a crit, uh, he has a he gains a personal prowess passive, uh, and if his unblockable passive is currently active, it is paused for two seconds. So he just goes unblockable a lot more often, uh, because once he gets to ten of those, he's gonna be cooking. Um, doesn't seem too bad, uh, but you probably want something to deal with that because he is the mm -hmm. first fight in the past i don't think you can ramp an aegon on there oh yeah do you just... although maybe <laughs> sure he should work there he, she can unblock or she can block the unblockable and just stick to parry four lights right i if do duped, wonder right? how yeah duped well yeah you plus you can phase or go untouchable rather the medium attacks mm -hmm. though that's going to be tough to not yeah. throw mediums. I guess you could just sort of parry light, 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 light with Shuri and then build her up and then just kind of throw heavy attacks and throw special threes and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. That Shuri needs to be duped, though, which is a... That's a yeah. tall order right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job. I should not there have watched that. <laughs> oh my god. That was, that was silly, bro. Let's go. That was so silly. <laughs> oh my I god. Love it. <laughs> that was something, uh, something AI, something. <laughs> oh, dude. Crazy, man. Crazy. Okay. Um. So, what do we have again? So, the auto block can trigger the parry, but it's not until 70% that we start adding armor up buffs on crits which i think is the kind of point where this one becomes a little bit yeah but crazy fragon if we don't have the unblockable um I, I still don't know if like we're just gonna have bad interactions so, yeah we're, we're just gonna have to see how this works if not i guess yeah i've, I've no idea yet we'll figure it out we'll figure it out as we go along Okay. Uh, doesn't seem that bad so far. Yeah. Hey, I didn't trigger the auto block at all. Yeah. I Is he? When, when's his AR come into play? Because you could be turning off the armor. Or, or there's like a. Is there like oh. a global force of will? There is something like that. I think it's like a fifty percent. Okay. I, I need to read it again, but yeah, defender's ability accuracy cannot be decreased below 15% unless if you have class advantage. Okay. So you can't just like falcon your way through. I think I go for this just because I didn't want to risk triggering our auto block too early. Um, can she auto block her way out of the special three? She can. Okay. Oh no, I don't think I hit pause quick enough there to actually save my combo. Um, maybe we took it into the block and still got the thing. Oh, we actually did, yeah. Still got the combo. Oops. Amazing, okay. Yeah, we're at 90, well, um, 904. Ooh, I think it, so close. it really is like <laughs> once she gets below, but I, um, I guess worst case scenario, I can kind of play like Nick Fury in the... Uh, was it second phase, right? Mm. Oh, that's true. Don't want to do that. Cool. Okay, well, I guess I'll just slowly hit into a block. Figure it out. Who really likes blocked hits as well? Shouldn't trigger the parry mastery just when we're getting the unblockable. the worst case after that we just like parry heavy can't have 
parry heavy attacks, right? Yeah, because the tranquilize will make your parries fail eventually. Okay. The true accuracy is also bypassing her auto block too. That you're getting. As long as I just stay aggressive. Yeah. If she keeps throwing the special ones, you're fine because she dumps her armor. Oh yeah, I see what you mean with the, the true accuracy. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go and just bail out, I think. It still seems like we can get some really good damage and probably get down. Um, mm -hmm. I'm seeing some comments about the mic again uh, in chat. Oh, uh, I might have moved a bit away. Your audio seems to be going down. Um, when like other people talk or when you're moving away something like that um it might be moving away potentially it's like increasing and decreasing apparently uh let's have a look just doing a test now yes yeah, it seems to be okay i think i'm just moving a bit too close to my i'm getting like a bit too into the fight so i need to play just a bit closer to the mic i think mine's quite sensitive <laughs> so yeah sorry guys for the uh the issues Right, let's uh, let's go again. I kind of I got so in the zone I actually forgot I was live streaming. Like I just haven't like thought about because that you just need to block it out a little bit. That's fair, especially in these fights, these marathon style. Yep. Aegon's cooking. Yes. Aegon is cooking. He did a tremendous job. Jeff Aegon. But I definitely don't want to use the, um, the special two because that'll bleed her and then she'll regen a lot and then it's time to cry. It is time to cry. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's Necropolis. Oh, it. We're almost there. It's Necropolis launch day. Uh, you know, if there was a time to cry, this is this is it. I guess we're in phase two, whatever that means. Oh, means I'm oh, getting clapped. Oh. Okay, it's it's the all good. It's all good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Combo shield was OP. There. Oh, we just hit nine nine nine. Yep. We've I think I'm. It. Okay. I think we're good. We lock down I mean, the stun. We bank, bank it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Bank <laughs> it. And this uh, nice. probably gets us to a good. Hopefully, it's enough. Um. What is it? It's probably going to start something close, right? Like, no. Oh, actually, no, it is actually enough to always start here now. Okay. I'm just, um, I just don't know how she's going to play now. We've only just got her below 70%. So I can actually focus on just doing as much as I can. So I'm like trying to take one hit here. Just, oh, I actually, I can't do it while Nick Fury's alive. I need to kill off Nick Fury just for this uh, a little bit better with Aegon. Actually, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, this is what I want to do. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Okay, we are absolutely cooking now. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Those crits. Finally, man. Finally. Let's this go. <laughs> <laughs> People didn't believe it. They were like, hmm, Aegon, maybe not this time. Surely they will make <laughs> Aegon not effective. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, oh, damn it. That was a good <laughs> chunk there, man. That was a yeah, good that was nice. It was a <laughs> chunk. <laughs> it was a really, really good chunk. Um, Very happily take that. Very, very happily take that. Oh, my God. One thing. Guys, I totally forgot to put on. Yep, here we go. Mastery time. This is going to be disgusting. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's time, man. It's time. It took us 50 minutes to ramp up Aegon. All for this moment here. Oh, magical. This is time to be alive right here. <laughs> certainly is, dude. It certainly is. I'm still quite worried about that, uh, Captain... Um, 
I think I'm probably going to need to change my mastery a few more to this run, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> gonna get rid of the evade charges one two oh, oh yeah this is it How's that? How's that Zemo looking now, by the way, Cam? <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he's going. He's going at it. Uh, you're, there are two people cooking on screen right now, and there's just too much food. <laughs> there's too much food. Let's go. That's what you want. I am reading uh, the Grandmaster ability, finally. Like, the full abilities with oh, yes. the percentages of that. And I am curious about. Oh boy. Uh, what's what's the percent damage for the reverse control immunity? Two percent. Two percent. Two percent of seconds. their current health. <laughs> Two percent of their current health. Um, so like you don't have to heal up for it, which is nice. Uh, but you don't have a punishment for bringing reverse control immunity for the final phase, from what I understand. Yep. I think that that might be worth bringing somebody like Wiccan, just for that. Would Jugs be immune to this, or is he just? Yeah, he to... straight immune now to that. Okay. Jugs could be nice as well. Um... I think Gore would probably do good in this fight too with the Undermine. Or Vox also would be. Vox would be fantastic for this fight. I don't know if Vox has the damage in him, honestly. Um, I've seen. Like, uh, I don't think. I don't know if his style of play uh, is going to necessarily lend itself well to, like, the fast paced special spamming sort of play that's. Here in Necropolis, I don't. I could be wrong though. Good job, good job, man. That was that was amazing. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was Thank a great you. finish. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna go in here. I'm just gonna get as much damage as I can on Nick Fury, and I I want to kill him off because I think I don't want the evade charges at the start anymore, just so I can easily play into. Uh, what was it? That's the most just... annoying thing that you probably want to counter, and like the auto block there. Like, Vox has a, pretty much a permanent undermine, so you can just ignore that. And, you know, if it takes a bunch more revives, at least, you know, you don't have to deal with annoying mechanics. Yeah. What do you guys think about, like, null but don't parry so that the tranquilize doesn't come in? I'm just letting uh, Nick Fury oh, get his to you, yeah. Yeah, you could do that, because he would just remove her armor ups. And he has the auto block counter on mediums and special ones. So guys, look anyway, at this. So he could. I really sorry. I was just gonna say, look at this regen <laughs> on uh, Airwalker, twenty four k. That's basically why you never want to get that man. Let that man like get his node off, or he's just gonna go crazy. Actually, Nick Fury's kind of kind of cooking here, dude. <laughs> kind of did some really nice damage. Still a three percent. Not really. Wonder if you can reverse that healing. Um, that's the interesting thing as well. I'd love to see somebody try it with Sandman and just like layer up the petrifies and see if you get that. That'd be really good. The tranquilized node on this one as well, it, it doesn't matter like as much because of the striker, you know? It's just like a really good kind of flow mm -hmm. to get in that. That little Galactus, that's the timer you have to knock him down on? Yeah. Okay. Oh, is that going to reach <laughs> Nick Fury? Dude, oh, Nick Fury's special one <laughs> is so <laughs> long, dude. It's so long. Uh, okay, there we go. I think i got to just throw this again. 
pretty comfortable with this uh, very long special. I think the good thing about Aegon is we can just like unstoppable heavy attack any point that we want. And it's just so easy to get in those intervals, I would assume. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad throw, Nick Fury. I'll take it. Nice. 15%. Not bad at all. Yeah, I kind of I played like absolute ass there as well. So if uh, if somebody was really going into cook, you could definitely take, I think, about 30, 40% at least off uh, throw, Nick Fury. Beautiful. Oh, and then look, we just get the. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that, that wasn't my I was being a bit too just greedy and silly with unstoppable plays. Um Yeah, I just need to not throw that. I need to get him against the wall. Um and then just do like unstoppable heavy attack chains to knock him down. And then it should be actually quite quite trivial. I don't think there's like a lot else going on. If we can get past that, so I like that they were kind enough to make Airwalker unduped in this fight. <laughs> oh, that's a, a big W there. You're right. Oh my god, that was really close. Oh, the <laughs> timing. I smacked what the difficulty of this fight, only to get wrecked like a pleb. Oh my god. Yeah, those neither of those tries have been very good. Um, just really silly mistakes. Anyway, sorry, I completely interrupted the, the conversation you guys are having a little bit before that. No, I think certain champion needs. So what, what's like everybody else? Do, uh, is kind of everybody in their own path? Like, I saw, Somebody's I think saying Pepe was fin streaming? Fintech is on your path, the same path you're doing, looks like. Oh, nice. Who is, um... I guess who's... Andy. Andy started, right? I don't know who's going for uh, the Mythic Titan. I don't know Sweet is going for Mythic. I think Finn is going for Mythic too. Looks like Andy is currently fighting Arcus with Wiccan. He's got a duped seven star, so that's interesting. I know he Ooh. said on stream last night with Brian no! that he was going to be leaning into Hercules. Leaning into yeah, Hercules? Andy's. Yeah, he's <laughs> really confident. <laughs> that's interesting. That would be the worst thing if Herc is actually good for this content. I, I think he's going to be very good for this. Um, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised at all. He does do a lot of damage and he's like very fast to ramp. I'm hitting like really awkward points in this fight where like Airwalker's special attacks are like so long that I'm just really struggling to kind of get like a good in there i don't know if like a special one spam champion is kind of the, the way to go i think like doom as well can work but we don't have the right mastery set up for doom at the moment he's just gonna get wrecked by the suicides mm -hmm. um so yeah i think just trying to find the, the rhythm with Aegon. And it's like when every single combo we're like cooking 100k damage? It's just nuts. Okay, nice. Just about got the knockdown there. Really need like an aggressive on this airwalker node. Did he shrug off that bleed somehow? Or did you um, have the trank on you? I think it was the trank on me that prevented from applying to Airwalker, I think. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, that's tremendously unfortunate. I don't need to worry about I think <laughs> I get one tap by this anyway, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and even if you don't, I I'm pretty sure he's going to be activating his region right after the SP3, so mm -hmm. uh, you probably don't want to stick around. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I don't know if special attack wise. I just want to kind of keep my special three for emergency purposes. It feels like it might be the best thing to do. You see, KT yeah, is going down the 
the red goblin path with craven after him um there's a power detonation uh trap note there that does seem pretty gnarly dude uh when i would defend against the war of power the attack was The attacker is already inflicted with one of these detonations. Um, potency of power detonation is equal to 100% of defender's base attack, which is... I'm pretty sure power detonation is the one where you are not supposed to use a special. I yeah, think that's the one where like you have the... to use it to remove it. The one yeah, that that's like the future right? aim, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I guess you want like a special one champion if possible, yeah. that'll help. That bleed you just got him on that in that last go was was something that was like 10k per tick. <laughs> oh, if I can get like a proper 7 stacks bleed, it's just uh, a bit awkward to do the Aegon things. Um, when there's like massive power gain as well. I think I definitely underestimated this dude early on. It's like the combination of him having large power gain and also needing to do the regular knockdown. Just uh, hand him my ass to me at the moment. The power gain is probably going to get it unless he get. No, we're good, we're good. Ooh, nice. We got it. <laughs> just about, just about. Um, I need to get another heavy attack in soon or something. Okay, I need him to like run into me. Oh, did he have one opportunity to do that? No. That's so unlucky, dude. He literally just got the power of Galactus. Oh, this is tight. It's a really, really tight fight. Uh, it seems like that comes on faster than, you know, like watching it from the outside, it doesn't seem that bad. But I bet when you're in the fight, that thing is just always creeping. Yep. It, it is. It's like every 15 seconds and his special attacks like to bait one and use one. I think at least like three to eight seconds. That was bad, dude. That was bad. I think as well, you kind of get in that point. You know when you're like overthinking a match too much and you're just making like silly mistakes. Yep. And you just All need to uh, you just need to focus, fundamentally execute, and like it's. it's super Oh my god, dude, that was like a 100k heavy crit. <laughs> oh yeah, but we're in Assassin's range now. Have I become Here a bit is. too excited by Assassin's Come on, I... come on, come on. Let's go! Oh, no, dude, no, no, no! <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> I was too greedy there, dude. I, I was like, okay, I'm seeing like just 60k crits everywhere. I'm just gonna send it. Um, How much has he got left? Oh, 20,000. Oh, one, <sighs> one hit, dude. One, one hit. I know, dude. It was so close then. Man. Should finish it with Ant Man for the the flex. For the memes. The memes. <laughs> Ant Man spam heavy attack. Let's go. I wonder if Ant Man is going to be like a saving grace on uh, any fights. <laughs> oh no. He's going to be finishing up Grandmas. Oh no. Oh no. It's okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got this. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Solo. Oh man, that's bad. Oh, okay, so this is the um the pressure one, yeah. Okay, well fine with Ant Man for the flex. Oh also I think uh we gotta renew boosters as well. Boosters are probably coming off. Let's see if this cat actually has any mechanics. Or if it's just like a free win. What is the ideal Ant Man rotation actually? I haven't played this guy since his buff. Uh, so you put fatigues on on them, and then you convert them into poison with the special two. Yep. But you need to, I think, heavy pauses them. Does it? He he, he gotta like dex and get some charges, and then that pause. He's he's really slow. He just he's so slow. Oh, he's indestructible he's really now. Tanky. Cool. Yeah. Complete. I've got. What is? He's What's got another timer on. I don't know what to do. He's got like Is some he just getting random effects. He's getting challenges um, that you need to do. I don't know if the challenge is like. Time's almost up. Hmm. 
challenge with. with. Oh, oh, he's, oh, okay. Wait, who so died? he's unblockable and indestructible. <laughs> oh, he died. <laughs> Was it like the direct burst or something? Like, I just tapped twice to whiff, um, and then he it just disappeared. Yeah, he must take damage for it. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So this cool. is a, this is the one where if you shrug off or debuffs, you're gonna die. Um. Oh no. It's, oh, it's reverse. It's oh, reverse controls. <laughs> yeah. Um. This might be a Gamora fight. Actually, is this? We, we gotta try it anyway. It can't, it can't be worse. There's no way it can be worse than the Airwalker fight. There's the reverse yeah, controls. I'm so just... literally the first hit. <laughs> So just a lot of light attacks and unstoppable leading into, I think we'll be fine, right? I mean, yeah, if you're always playing with fight. reverse controls. Yeah. So just yeah. decks the specials with reverse controls. Oh my God. This is 10% off in like 15 seconds. We can do this, dude. This is oh grandmaster practice. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> oh um, no. Was it the tranquilize? <laughs> Okay, yeah, th this is yeah. gonna be yep. fun though. We yep. can we can throw revives at it and we'll be good. <clears throat> yep. So yeah, I've got to do this fight permanently with reverse controls. Uh what what a fun time. Good very good warm-up though. Very, very good warm-up for what's to come. Oh no, I went to do reverse controls on the first one. <laughs> <You bet> um, <laughs> <that one. laughs> Um, where was the unblockable? <laughs> it's got the, it's the bulwark, I think. Oh, that'll stop that. Interesting. I, I think so. Does anyone know how she works? I don't think so. No. She's like, <laughs> she's one of those champions that I like forget is in the game until I have to fight her. Nice little stand-up intercept there, though. My God. Yep. Oh, this bleeds, dude. See, we're clutching these in reverse as well. <laughs> it's a good good run. This one. This one's actually going quite nice. Oh wow! Can I backdraft? So oh my AI god! There. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, the backdraft with the. <laughs> reverse oh, I don't know how I did any of that. <laughs> uh, that am was I like two runs and run and run right there? <laughs> Somehow I've got better at playing with reverse controls than I was on the Airwalker matchup. <laughs> I I no idea what's going on, man. Oh my gosh. Go again. Um, oh yeah, I need to activate. Do I have the booster? Oh, I, I still got it for one more try. Get another yeah, another one minute in. One more try. Um, okay, so regular controls at the start. I can't believe she let you intercept her like three times at special three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I definitely clearly outplayed the AI there. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to figure out where my controls are at. There we go. Yep. I guess this is somewhat good practice for the Grandmaster because, like, yeah, you have to be somewhat aware if it's on or off with the reverse controls. I think that's going to be a thing. It's, it's going to be always on in phase three, at least. So we phase four, it seems much. like it's switching anytime yeah. you do like anything. I, I don't mind so much if it's always on right, because you can adapt to that. It's just kind of here where, like, sometimes there aren't debuffs for me to shrug, and then sometimes I don't have reverse controls. So I'm, I'm trying to, like, look at the icon very closely while also just trying to pay attention to what I need to do here. So we're going to dash back, hold block, controls are regular again. Who's going to be the first person to upload a Grandmaster solo, do you think? Oh, dude, it's, it's going to be like uh, MSD. He'll find a way. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you notice, he's not streaming right now, so my guess is he's <laughs> working on it. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to sit there at the Grandmaster and restart until he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Which Man's for me would be like infinite times. For him, it'll yeah. probably be like three times. <laughs> <laughs>
I would go into financial ruin trying to get a Grandmaster solo, man. That would, uh, it's not going to be happening. I'll be, I'll be happy if I can get him down in like under 20, 30 revives, you know. That's, that's my conservative goal. Did we get the bleed? Okay, almost got that. Yeah, I, I'm struggling to like find the uh, the bandwidth to just kind of bring this all together with reverse controls active. <laughs> but that was it's okay. We got a few hits there. She's she's slowly going down. I'm feeling oh, yeah. pretty good she's... about um, bringing in Aegon. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a uh, a good call. <laughs> Looks like Mike is on the Psycho Man now, and he's using Shuri, so no Zemo. Oh, well, it's got to be one of the two. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you mean he's not going to use the three-star Zemo? <laughs> <laughs> you were saying you're about 45 revives. It's not, not too bad. <laughs> God. Including a ramp. Yeah, we probably used about, what is it, 20 or so on the ramp? Mm -hmm. This is kind of dissuading me from going for more of those um, team revive bundles. Everybody who I'm seeing uh, doing the content seems to be doing it with like one champ uh, or like one or two main champions. If that ends up being the case, uh, <laughs> I guess it, it no makes way, more dude. sense to like go for single revives, right? <laughs> what is she oh, doing? Man. <laughs> dude, this is all skill, bro. This is all skill. Oh, I thought oh, we were going to oh, get oh. that. <laughs> oh, that would have been incredible. Standing in fear there of, a of power of Aegon. <laughs> oh, my God. Great try there, man. Great try. Um... Okay, we're slowly... Slowly making our way closer, chat. Nice. All right. Okay. It is. Nice. We've got Wiccan up next. Ooh, Wiccan. Oh, I've been ambushed once again. Hmm. These are really what weird. Is... Oh, sorry, Cam. I think I lost you there. Wait, what's going on here, dude? It's capping damage. Oh, do you uh, think it's the um? It's a yeah. The damage cap is a percentage of their health. That's why. Oh, smart. Ah, that's a really good observation. So this should like pretty much new game. I should have got it with. Oh no, it's also capped on the dots as well. Okay. Oh, the bleeds are, are the wow. Yeah. Okay. That's good info for later, or like if you're using champs with big dots that, you know, like I wonder if Odin is going to be capped. Some people were theorizing he could get past the cap. Or like uh, Kate's cold snap is pretty bonkers. I wonder if that's capped too. Uh, what, do I need, yeah. what do I need to do? What was the call out? Uh, probably with two attacks, right? Yeah. Uh, that sounds right, yeah. There we go. Yep. The last one just like auto died. It was weird. Like Ant Man yeah. did something and he lost like oh, okay. That one yeah. died too. I do not I, I kinda like this. There's like these like we don't know what the abilities of that champ is, but it's like you're getting them down, so it's fine, but it's kinda kinda fun. Yeah, I feel like there's something you gotta do on them or something that I'm missing if I took the time to read them. I'm like, what the fuck? Um Okay, right, let's try Wiccan. What do we have? He's going to have the same power game, right, if we get the same power. But, like, if I just hoard lots of power, right, then he's not going to do anything. You don't want to parry, remember, because you'll get that uh, neutralize on you. Well, he can... Aegon can shrug that off. That's true, yeah. Yeah, it's active. 
saying uh, Sweet attested Odin, and he does circumvent the damage cap. Ooh, interesting. I'm just going to get as much as I can. God damn, Wiccan is just melting here. <laughs> wow. Wow. Does he have less? He probably has less health, and also he's got like negative physical resistance. So you're, well, I mean, you're already hitting hard enough, but <laughs> that'll You could be hitting it. even harder, you know? Yeah. That's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, I was, I was trying to be a bit cheeky. I probably should have gone for the. <laughs> The special two is going to kill me because of recoil anyway, so I was like, ah. Sure. That was 34% yeah. of that one. And he's, yeah, you're right. He only has uh, 5, 8 million, so not as much as... Uh, I mean, some one. abyss fights were like 5.7, so this is not that big of a health pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Comparatively, you know? Mm -hmm. It's very much in the ballpark. Um, So looking at the next section, because I've got the choice soon of which three to go down. And we had like a bit we of got skim read. Psycho Man. Yep. Psycho Man and then the three. But what path do you guys think? Just if you can have a quick read now, is going to be best for Aegon. Do you think like kind of the left yeah, path um, is still. I'm going to quickly go through that. There does seem yeah. to be an APOC, which I don't know if APOC's going to allow Aegon to exist. Um. Is he going to ramp when you die, too? Oh, I don't... Yeah, the left-hand side didn't have an APOC, right? It was uh, Silver no, Surfer. No, it was the, surfer, the Silver Surfer, yeah. Yeah, I, I think <clears throat> ignore the APOC one. That's not going to be a, a fun time. Actually, would APOC matter that much? Just in theory, if we are, like, ramped up. It's like we can just not parry him, right? And then we don't need to worry. Yeah, so APOC is every 20 seconds he gains a genetic code and a prowess. Um, and then it's like, uh, it's like you, you have to use, I forget what the note is called, where you have to use like a certain, oh, it's, it's like strike counter, where you have to use like lights, mediums, and heavies. Okay. And that'll True. remove his remove genetic the code. Yeah. 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 Is that, is APOC on uh, the Red Guardian one? Apoc is uh, on his own APOC path. Red Tiger Guardian is and... another one. Yeah. Yeah. The Red Guardian one, the big note is when the attacker ends a combo with the same attack they ended their previous combo with, then the attack has a chance to be auto blocked. So that's kind of like no node for Aegon. Yeah, for Aegon. Yeah. Okay. What are the um And that's yeah. Guardian, Valkyrie, and Red Guardian. I mean that sounds like a pretty straightforward path with those nodes i didn't look at their individual yeah. nodes though the trap node on the red guardian path is that um the comp the one that we just talked about the auto block so it's like a, a trap that like you can basically ignore what are the individual abilities that all of them have like uh how are they they looking as change let's take a so look so for for guardian every six seconds he gains a five percent armor up passive unless the attacker is far away from the defender striking the defender's block removes one of the passives so it's like um like that what well, there's a node like that in aq i think it's pretty similar i forget what it's called whenever the but defender blocks an attack to worry about like his annoying thing is blocking specials but like yeah. again you probably won't have to deal with that yep yeah with Aegon. so i don't think there's much problem there do you think that node would negatively impact any of the other fights after? Because then we got the trap node for the four fights after that. It doesn't really... It seems like a bit of a non-issue, because you can kind of play around it with any champion, right? Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're unblockable, the auto-block really doesn't matter, so... So yeah, Gu Guardian seems uh, fine. What was Red Guardian's node again? There's two Guardians on this part. Red uh, Guardian... He has three phases... Oh, he loses one durability on his shield each time he is struck with any attack except for a heavy attack. So does that mean he'll, like, stun you or something when you, his yeah. shield gets down to zero? Okay, so you have to, like, use heavy attacks only? I mean, that doesn't seem terrible. Well, but with the... Hmm. Oh, but then, yeah, you're right. The way that stacks with the... 
<laughs> don't end the combo the <laughs> same seems, way. No, it is a that little. That <laughs> seems goofy. Yeah. <laughs> Or do you have does is there a way to avoid this like hit him with a special attack on his last charge maybe? Oh that oh, makes yeah. sense. Good call. Kinda like with oh, Quake, heck. like if the yeah. stun is happening, you won't get stunned. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's got it's gotta be that's gotta be how you do that fight. And then Valkyrie is looks like her combo increases when he, she hits her block. And she gains a pierce passive, lasting for a duration equal to their combo meter. <laughs> okay. And her and her special attacks cost a hundred percent less power if she does not have a pierce. So, just in in your opinion, I'm just gonna ask you first, Campo. Do you, if you were playing Aegon right, would you take the left hand path or the right hand path? What do you think is gonna be a easier time? Uh, I mean, looking at it, I, 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 without like getting too deep into it, I'm pretty sure he can plow through that right side. I'm not seeing anything there that's going to stop him. The APOC scares me a little bit just because the way he has advantage against skills. Like, I think there might be some stuff we're not thinking of. A APOC's yeah, not on the, the right the side, the is right. he? Yeah, APOC's. No, he's in the middle. Okay, cool, cool. So he's we... in the middle, yeah. Yeah, I think the left or the right would be fine because both traps a gun can basically just plow through. Yeah, I I think I prefer going red guardian, just dealing with whatever the consequence of that stun is, rather than um, what is it having to get through storm? I think storm's going to be really annoying with a glancer. Yeah, she Pro does look probably annoying. yeah. That Valkyrie is kind of spooky too. Um, I'm thinking about it, and when he has, um, so basically you want to let her hit into your block a bunch. Yep. yep. Uh, otherwise, her specials are not going to be costing power, or you might just be able to like plow through her, um, not worry about much, just like SP3 with Aegon, and mm -hmm. not really care about his specials, I guess, uh, which could also work. She does have. Fair enough. Disney I... low health. Yeah, you're gonna have to let her hit your block a lot because, yeah, a lot of block damage it seems like in that fight. Uh, no, people are saying boost. boost. Yeah, which is yeah. Oh, that's good. Good shout. Did I not renew them? I thought I did. But... Oh, I think it's the thirty minute ones I need to do. I also. I was so, like, involved in our conversation there, I forgot I had gone on to a completely new opponent. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm now on Psycho Man. I, I, uh, I think... I think Wiccan was kind of not very memorable. <laughs> no. He was in there and he was out. <laughs> yeah, Psycho... So have, what happens if you don't do these purple things? I take a lot of damage, uh, so I need okay. to avoid that. But Psycho Man, he's getting absolutely plowed down here, dude. Like, he's going down very, very quickly. Like, I barely remember starting this fight, and we are on uh, 61%. So, yeah, Aegon's uh, absolutely cooking it. He's doing uh, tremendous things. All right, let's activate mm -hmm. a 30 minute uh, attack booster. But, guys, thank you all so much for being on call today, and uh, thank you for the help on kind of scouting ahead and help helping me try to figure out this while we're also running at it. Um, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, it's, man. It's a lot of thanks uh, for having us. Yeah, a lot yeah, of information to commute. But yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Like, I love the launch day things. We're doing amazing so far. How many is this? Is our seventh boss. So, um, after this, we've That's got seven true. more, and then Grandmaster. Halfway. Halfway. Crazy. That for this is minutes, going like a yeah. lot faster than I expected. Well, what they say on the live stream for like the people doing the mythic runs, the estimate. I think they said like uh, 11, 11 hours. 11 hours? Yeah, which that seems pretty quick. For exploration, yeah, that seems pretty quick. Yeah. That's definitely way shorter than my total abyss exploration took. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. With five star Aegon. And... Uh, just a reminder 
for Seaton to get closer to the mic if possible. Yeah, sorry, I'll, I will uh, I'll try. I, I just I badly just Try sticking the sometimes. microphone in your mouth and maybe it'll... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I just, I that need like a, heads, a headset from the, the stream. So thank you for the, the nice reminder, Trent. I appreciate that. I will try my best. Mike is uh, going down to APOC path, and there does seem to be a, uh, there's a, there's four charges on APOC the whole time, so that's fun. Um, oh, he's, yeah. And he is indestructible really often. My god. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> How did those indestructibles happen? Yeah, I didn't uh, see that. Yeah, I didn't see that either. <laughs> oh, that's the <laughs> trap. Um, oh, oh, we're okay. That's the, oh, the, the defender big... dashes forward. Oh, if the debuff is nullified, the attacker gains a fury instead. Interesting. You could probably. Um, doesn't Wong instantly nullify indestructible from his sig? Yes. That would give him so much power. <laughs> Just non-stop <long> and... <laughs> Dude, this Psycho Man is melting too. Aegon yeah. is absolutely cooking. Yeah. I go yeah, bad. This, this, like... this, yeah. this has given me some second thoughts about my team. <laughs> I mean, Aegon's going to do Aegon things, man. I mean, yeah. there's not much that can stop a 999 Aegon. And we're seeing that. I'm just excited to take this guy against the Grand Master now that he's uh, ramped up, you know. Yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna uh, be so fun. Crazy. Uh, I Mike am middle. a little concerned about. I'm pretty sure Grand Master has hit into my block prompt. Um, oh, so, you know. You're, yeah. You might. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, I didn't get the prompt right. Um. I didn't even see what that one was, dude. I was so focused on trying to get the execution combo. I thought I could make it. I just forgot about the timer there. Oh, okay. Let's go again. But yeah, you are like right it. on that final phase. Um, you could get lucky because it doesn't... Isn't there like a Grandmaster Says mechanic where like sometimes yeah, you don't have yeah. to fulfill yeah. the prompt? So maybe you could mm -hmm. get lucky. <laughs> no, you're entirely correct on that. I think that's going to make it so... So chaotic, but I'm really excited for it. Mike well, said over 279. Oops, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Was about 279 from Mike Middleton saying shout out to the memory of Carlos the Wi Fi King. To throw Yo. Right there. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Appreciate the super chat there. And big ups to Carlos, the man in the chair. The legend. Okay, guys, we're halfway through. Um,. So we're going to commit to right-hand side here, yeah? I, I hope so. I hope it's going to be a good call. <laughs> yeah, I think that middle one looks pretty pretty much middle like a hard looks, no. Looks rough, yeah. yeah. Yeah, middle is a hard no. And I think the left, like you said, the storm is going to be kind of a pain. Oh my gosh. Yeah, um, that Valkyrie is looking a little bit interesting. I'm going to I feel like this Red Guardian is going to be, uh, be a bit tough, but... I think as well the damage isn't so high that we can we can take hits like it's so does when his shield explodes does it deal a burst of damage or does it just put the dots on you it's it's the trauma debuff i think but the stun is what you're worried about so i yeah. think you have to and like the the uh, the, the trank trap is gone now so you can freely parry him and just keep heavying him until you have special ready, and then you have to break break the shield with the special, as I'm guessing what it's intended to be. Okay, cool. Or you could do basic combos, and, and if until you're going to have the moment. special ready by the yeah, time, yeah, yeah. Or it even just like parry medium heavy with like a normal yeah. champion, parry medium heavy or something, or yeah. Uh, Matthew Rivera, 
uh, two dollars saying miss having seen from live stream so pumped this, this is absolutely just historic um, another round of Everest content another round of Seaton in there first um, not from Mexico I don't know I don't know what's up with that but <laughs> we were joking about how he should uh, book a trip yeah just for the purpose of this this one. I, it was tempting, yeah, I'm not going to lie. But, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I. what happens if Carlos was on vacation? What happens if I didn't have the Wi-Fi? And I was just stuck in a freaking hotel room and I couldn't do anything. <laughs> that would be the worst way to spend a cropless launch. Hotel, why, you know, it's not, it's not a gamble you uh, ideally want to take, but we just, we had to take it that first time in it. It yep. paid off, dude. It paid off thanks to Carlos. But I can't believe we're on boss eight already, man. It just it feels like it's the last like hour or so once we've got this character ramped, ramped up. Because it did take me. It took 50 minutes to ramp up, right? And I've only been cooking for 40 minutes. So mm -hmm. there's still longer yeah, time on the stream that we are ramping up. Yeah, he is just he's making a mess of these these defenders. Yes. Uh, two dollars from Clash Roy Fail saying crazy to think fastest completion in Abyss was eight hours. Yeah, How, was that at stream launch, actually yeah. eight hours? At launch, I, at launch, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was listening to the um, Kabam live stream, and he was like, "Yep, eleven hours for full exploration." I was like, "Eleven hours for full exploration? That's just wild." I can I hope to see because uh, it's only top ten, right? It's not top hundred. Yep, top 10. Correct, yeah. And just as a heads up, guys, I'm just going for a completion run. Very, very happy. The answer is fight. no. Yeah, yeah, he has his own set of nodes. These trap nodes basically follow you for the first seven fights, and then it's a new set for the second seven fights. And then Grandmaster is his own beast. Is there any link nodes that he has, or does he just have his own kit? I hope just not. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see if we can do some jammy things there. <laughs> oh no, he's not allowing it. Oh, rip. Rip. That was a good try, though. We got a lot of hits on, on that one. I do think after seeing. Um the barrage of sp3s and like the rotation here with Aegon bringing in uh, heimdall you're gonna get one more chance after every one of those sp3s to maybe go for your own sp3 your own sp2 uh for like future runs maybe if people want to consider that have you tested if that works uh, Cam? I, oh I yeah you know what i should do it right now yeah I there's a isn't there a node where immortality and indestructible don't work? So which one is that? Is it an indestructible technically? I uh, can. Yeah. So well, the, uh, the idea would be it, it would protect you from the special three and then immediately expire afterward. I think. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So let dude, that would be absolutely huge. Honestly, that would. Um... Probably like at least save twenty five percent revives if we had that in the team, and I think also um, I've just been surprised that Aegon's been so dominant and just worked really well for everything so far. Well, I say surprised, but he is Aegon, so I'm only that surprised. So, did you hold your last ascension, like thinking that this was just in case, or were you planning on this the whole time? I um, what was it? I did it earlier today. Uh, despite everybody being like, go for Zemo, just because I was, I did a bit of testing in like Abyss and Labyrinth, and I was just like, Aegon just cooks, dude. You know, <laughs> it's like you get this man ramped up, and like, look at look at these combos, dude. They're just disgusting. Like they're just absolutely absurd. And it's um, granted, I think if you know you're pretty committed to um, learning how to play the characters super well, I think Zemo, again, is just doing amazing things. Um, so I don't have a Shuri as well for that part. But for 
like anybody that has a six star Aegon. It just seems like he's a little bit of a, a cheesy cheat code uh, potentially for this. Okay, let's see how far we can push this. Oh my god. There it is. There we go. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Mike's just there with like just you know, like we need to turn up the aggression on these opponents, man. <laughs> <laughs> No. Okay. Revives in it. I was still a very, very, very good try there. 106 hits. God damn. Yeah, that's a huge. That's combo. really, really good. The speed as well is just is crazy, man. He's just melting all of these uh, massive champions in kind of like five, five, six minutes. I think. He's getting a hit there. This is one thing I love about playing Aegon in uh, Necropolis as well, is that there's not that stun node, so you can just play very, very aggressively. Just, like, mm -hmm. take the hit. You know you're not going to get stunned unless there's a node or something. And then you can just brute force in with, like, a 250k combo or something. Um, I can't... Uh, sorry, what's up, Cam? SP3 from Titania. I was a 73% health. The SP3 knocked me down to zero, came out of it with 73% health. Oh, so Heimdall Ooh. does work for SP3 tank. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty big. big. That's big. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh. <laughs> all skill, boys, all skill. Gotta well. get those Furies somehow. You do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just I'm just gonna full send it, get as much damage as I can in here, and just see what we can do. God, he's just destroying her. <laughs> he's uh, he's absolutely kicking at the moment. What I get? Not be too greedy on this one. Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping I could get like another combo just to get the damage from the six of those bleeds, but I, I think those pierce the the indefinite pierces that she got probably would have counted for her node. Yeah, I, I believe so. So, um, what is affecting that as well? Is it just like me hitting into her to get out of this? Uh, e either champion hitting block is giving the passive one, and if also she doesn't have one on her, then her specials are free. But even like doing a parry is just um, is absolutely yeah. fine here. Parry, bait out special attack. Yeah. Well, the you indefinite know, pierce she's the indefinite pierce she's getting is a buff. Uh, she needs a passive for the specials not to be free. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're entirely right on that. So you do need to like parry her. How dare she evade Aegon? That is not allowed. <laughs> Can the devs do something, man? My Aegon's not gone him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, okay. Oh, wait, I'm just gonna use this to get it back on track. It got very messy in the corner there, but I've got the- uh, Nothing the better than the panic special three. <laughs> love, love a good panic special three. I'm just gonna dodge this. What? Oh, she ignores unstoppable, oh. doesn't she? Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh, she had enough pierce tag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot about that, dude. But now we know, guys. We've we're. I hope you've all got your notepads uh, ready for all of the Aegon. Uh, just a mountain of Aegon fails here. There's honestly a, a community service here. All these tips and the tricks that they're being found. <laughs> well, it's uh, we've only used what was it like 60, 50, 60 revives so far, which is uh, yeah, yeah just contributing to the, the five million, right? 
We haven't yeah. hit the midpoint of a fight yet, like a single time yet. <laughs> I think I could have if I was just playing a bit more conservatively, but I'm just I'm right. bulldozing. Like, just trying to get all of the... But like the, I guess I guess having said that, like because like the challenger rating of of a rank four Aegon would be much lower. Like you could still probably make it work with a rank four. Yeah, very true. Oh no, it was the stun. Oh no. How, how does she proc the stun uh, immunity? By the way. Um... Uh, anytime she has a bulwark, okay. she's stun immune. Um, and she gets the bulwark. How does she get that? When she reverses her combo below a multiple of 10. Or when she loses her combo. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, so, so she So just hit... assume she's probably going to be stun immune a lot. <laughs> so if she hits me, um, and then I hit her, then she loses her combo. And that means... Yeah. That... Yeah. Okay, un understood. I guess sometimes you turn it off via a bit of the accuracy reduction though because like right there she had 14 combo yep. she lost it uh but she didn't get the bulwark so you know yeah Aegon doing Aegon things um <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mike Middleton in chat saying, if you listen closely, you can hear Lefty ranking up his Aegon in the distance, which is true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Digging out that tier two dust. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is, what is it, the ninth fight that he's cooked four in a row? What well, seems well worth it for an initial completion, like. But I, I also yeah. don't know how the other runs uh, yeah. go in. People. Yeah, like if if you're just looking to plow through, like he's making it look really easy. I don't think anyone streaming is using Cape Bishop yet. Has anyone seen any Cape Bishop sightings? Uh, I think Finn is using her. Somebody was oh, saying okay. earlier uh, he sold Titania with her. Oh cool! Oh my gosh! God damn! How is yeah. Finn? Is Finn live at the moment? Is he streaming? Uh, let's check. I think I'm a bit cooked on what I can do on this now. Is, once uh, he is, is, is indeed yeah. live, yeah. Nice. Where whereabouts is he? Is he on the um the second uh, phase bit? He is at Captain Britain. Oh, fair enough. Somebody yeah, said he sold, is... um, he sold Arcus with Venom. What? <laughs> of course he did. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> I don't I don't see how that works. That's uh, pretty phenomenal, though. You just nullify the power gain with the Omnom. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't expect Omnom anything indeed. less from Finn, bro. Finn is a beast. How is, um, if he got both the solos, though, how is he still at Captain Brim? Was there, a, a, what was it, an opponent that really, like, slipped him up or something? The Omega Sentinel or the Airwalker? I think he's that's doing true. a lot of reading. Yeah. That's actually a really sensible way to do it. So, <laughs> respect to Finn. We are, if we're doing one thing on this channel, it's like not a lot of reading. We're just kind of going in. It's like doing Aegon. We're just things. Like really making sure there's no like emergency, <laughs> urgent situation that Aegon's going to get stopped with. And then we're yeah. like, that's good enough. Let's go. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it looks like Finn only started playing, like actual started in the quest, like fifty five minutes ago. So, he's, oh, fair oh so he did a bunch of scouting. He, he is and... making he is making good progress in terms of fight time. I think. Yeah, I was gonna say Finn's like crazy. <clears throat> Plus, getting those solos as well, dude. Like he must be, yep. uh, be absolutely flying. Um, I also hear Airwalker was a was a pain for him. Airwalker was right, a pain Mike for is me on as well. Hercules. Uh, who's on that middle path? So it's a Pock, um, Hercules, and who's yeah, that's Mike. Team? Mike is doing that path. He's at Herc now. It was Tigra in uh, the middle. There's also Tigra, yeah. Oh yeah. God. And what? imagine getting rooted, you know, by like halfway too. through the fight. Yeah. It doesn't even matter because it's decks. like unblockable, anyways. <laughs> yeah. 
This Valkyrie needs to throw the specials. <laughs> yeah, for real. Sweet is also Captain Britain. He's only used nine revives, it says. Nice. I mean, they're doing so much better than me for revive pacing. So, fair play to Laz. Absolutely smashing it. Yeah, Andy's just... still back on Nearwalker. This should be it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice. <laughs> So because, thinking back a, to that arc, it, oh sorry, you got it, Cam. I hear an ambulance in the distance. It's it's coming for these defenders at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I feel like Red Guardian's gonna instantly like. Oh, actually, as long as I can get a few hits in before he starts. Oh my god, we ignore his shield from. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh you're good. Dude. You're good <laughs> we are so... What were we worried about? <laughs> what were we worried was, about? Oh, was that was yeah. that just the fifty percent luck maybe? <laughs> Uh, fellas, been... oh, you know what? You've got class advantage, so you can fully reduce oh, his abilities. So you're god. good. Oh my yeah. god, I can! Yes. Oh. <laughs> good call, Capo. Yeah. Ah. So, yeah, oh my god. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think this is just no nodes. This is like uh, this is no nodes. Realm yeah. of Legends. <laughs> <Red Guardian. laughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. This is amazing. This is the best. Um, somebody I saw in chat somebody asking how would like a rank four Aegon do in here? Rank four Aegon would just do like twenty percent, twenty five percent less than what Seaton is doing. Um, if you have boosts on, if you have suicides on, all of that stuff combined, rank four ascended would do just like twenty five percent less than what he's doing. Um, so if that sounds like a good value to you uh, compared to like rank fiving him. You should go for it, but I think personally, I might, I might be joining uh, the Aegon team as well. <laughs> yeah, um, like if you don't mind just dumping revives, uh, which is a totally legit strategy. Like, yeah, Aegon is the man. <laughs> well, I mean, there's gonna be some fight that you're gonna use a million revives on, even if you have like a really good RPG countering team, you know. Probably, so yeah. you just have to kind of look at the, you know the ease of of what this looks like you know so yeah i i love that the note that we were worried about just does not matter here. <laughs> 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 are you gonna get a solo is this if... don't jinx it dude don't say any oh why did you have to say something <laughs> i was doing so well <laughs> This is one man, one dream. This could be a world's world's first. <laughs> man, Chef Aegon, absolutely cooking. Um, people are saying, how this about no suicide? This is oh no! Oh, oh the enraged! Oh, oh no! Oh no! We actually hit there. <laughs> I bet your striker moves it up. Oh. Oh, these decks love, at the wall. Oh, dear, these Red are so Guardians. good. Let's go. Animation. Uh, yeah, push him to that special two. Oh. oh. Amazing. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> Dude, absolutely cooking. Oh. You get the special three in your pocket just in case, too. Wow. What an intercept there. I love that call out the shield breaks and then nothing happens. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> nothing happens, yeah. Really? Oh. oh. Still alive, still alive. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Oh, he's going for it. Going in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, YOLO, baby, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, 
We are all clenched here. Absolutely. <laughs> Everything is clenched. Oh my god, oh, the striker! Relic, oh relic. my god, oh, the striker! Come on, come oh, on! No. Oh my god, it's gonna oh, be on the... Oh! Yes! Oh, yes! yes! <laughs> Let's go, dude! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> no way! Oh my god! I can't, I'm shaking so much right now. World's, Guys, I'm sorry, I just completely knocked out my headset. Let's go. Oh my God. Let's go. Dude, a microsecond more and we would have died off the recoil damage there. Oh my, <sighs> okay. Holy crap, dude, nice work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking there, bro. I'm actually shaking. That was, that was wild, bro. That was wild. <laughs> Oh my god. Clutch Dexes on this special two. Oh, okay, guys, just give me one sec. I want to refill my water, man. That was crazy. Okay. Um, we are back, guys. I'll leave chat in your capable hands. I'm actually shaking. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. What I'm a ride. so glad I didn't <laughs> jinx it there. I would have. You would have felt, felt so bad. bad if I jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> we were all thinking it, man. We were all yep, thinking it, but we were then all someone thinking had it. to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I think the best part was like the like five minutes of elapsed time that we took theory crafting about the node. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then it was like, it. oh yeah, there's it. no node. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, oh, if you parry and then medium and then <laughs> yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> That was amazing. Wild yeah, combos to try and counter it. What? It, what what's the nose and Captain Sam? I don't have no memory of them anymore. They're all gone. All the it's probably I've something with unblockable. <laughs> Just more. It's more, the one uh, where if you if you hit his block, you get um, ruptures on you. So again, a gun gonna cook. <laughs> amazing. So unblockable seems to be good utility for necro, like generally yeah. speaking. Yeah. Um, Misty Night Meta. Misty Night Meta, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure she's gonna do a lot of damage in here. Yep. Uh, so, what are we worried about here? I guess we're worried about Nova, because Nova can't really be Aegon, unless if Aegon turns that off too. And, uh, well, he doesn't have class just... advantage, so. Well, he, yeah. he can reduce it under uh, up to like yeah. 50%. Um, yeah, so this, I bet like some of the hits will get through. Yeah. Uh, so Nova is a concern. Um, Captain America regular, Captain Sam should be fine. Dragon Man is going to be a little bit of a pain. Uh, he's going to be gaining power. You probably want to like block the SP1, uh, mm -hmm. get rid of his power gain charge. Uh, yeah. Um, and you can't really rely on the SP3 stun as much because he's going to be sun immune. Yep. So that's just another thing to keep in mind. Um, Captain Sam, people are saying his auto block, which, you know, Aegon's going to hopefully take yeah. care of some of that, uh, especially since he's not going for special attacks, like special attacks one and two. Yep. Uh, you know what I'm glad quick? about is like, there's no like Kindred or like Photon or like, like they, <laughs> I mean, some of these defenders are, are annoying. Like, you know, there's like a Nova and that Apoc seems annoying, Supreme but it seems, too. oh, I didn't see that. Um, and a future like, man. <laughs> all right. Well, before I talk too much, thanks for correcting me there. But I, I do feel like overall, <laughs> a lot of these are like, do a certain play style and get through them versus like, I feel like if there was a Photon here or something, it would just be like auto die from the defender before you even yeah, worry about yeah, the nodes, sure. you know, so, yeah. I gotta Fuck go get on. my kids off the bus. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Perfect. Sounds good, man. All right. All right, I'm, uh, I'm back. Murdoch is asking if there's a Medusa boss, uh, and yes, absolutely, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, I wish there was. That would have been cool. I wonder what they would have done with a Medusa boss. Um, you're a madman going in there unhealed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude, that would have been so much easier if I had just healed up beforehand. I was kind of expecting to get like clapped uh, by the uh, stun, but like doing that fight, all of it on like 9% health, 
was not the um not necessarily the one but yeah cap cap looks like a bit of a, a nuke fest here it doesn't look like there's anything that's kind of massively standing in our way but oh my gosh um yeah dude that's what these day one moments of four man just getting the solos is just oh it feels great i can only imagine how like uh thin is feeling after getting that um uh, titania and arcus solo sounds like he's absolutely cooking yeah for sure what an I exciting moment him. though yeah he's a he's a he's a very finnish man um his the height of emotions he displays they're just they're just truly truly amazing <laughs> after winning the <laughs> the tournament he was he was elated but he was really celebrating in his in his own way <laughs> Oh, he's great, man. He's great. He's so good, like, yeah. talking to everybody about Rome for all, man. Amazing. Still... I'm a very nice dude, yeah. It's great meeting you as well, Cam. Like, Cam is, um, Cam is absolutely stacked in real life. Man's uh, absolute mountain. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it, yeah. Uh, it's been, it was super nice meeting everybody. I, I hope next year they do it again. I hope more people can show up. Uh, would love to see, like, more players. Um talk to more of the devs even uh, I know like a couple of the devs were there when Summit happened, not all of them I would love to like talk to more of them as well uh, would be super sick Cam's oh. a real pro when it comes to the uh, Yelp reviews and, and picking the best <laughs> yeah, spots yeah, yeah. I'll tell you that much man, the donuts yeah. oh my god Vancouver has really good food, uh, it turns out um uh, 4x square with 100 rupees. Let's go, Seaton. You cook Red Guardian with Aegon. Keep cooking, brother. Dude, thank, thank you so much you. for the super chat there. And there's a there's a little sticker with it too. These stickers are fun. YouTube is doing some fun <laughs> stuff. Yeah, dude, it's really nice. I still can't believe they just like had kind of an open invite uh, for that kind of open deck. Kabam, man, it's just crazy that just everybody that showed up yeah. got. Uh, yeah. Like get into kind of the ground floor of the the command offices. Like I just didn't think they'd do something like that, but I think it just, the squid just looks amazing as well. It was just one of the highlights. Yeah, it was really nice. Uh, somebody is asking about revive count. Uh, whatever number is in your head, minus one for Red, <laughs> Red Guardian. Yeah, there was there was no. <laughs> Look, we're making up the revive count a little bit on Red Guardian here. <laughs> something to get back in the game now i'm back to recklessly taking hits like a absolute degen here oh no i oh dude that's really annoying yeah i'm actually all good on the map now dude i'm looking at the uh, spider-man supreme um, and his note is really interesting. Uh, the defender takes no damage from any source belonging to the attacker. Whenever the attacker gains one or more buffs, uh, the defender loses 0.5% of their max health as a burst of direct damage. One or more buffs, uh, dude. So, like, Aegon again? Oh. Aegon? <laughs> is that an Aegon <laughs> fight, bro? <laughs> um, yeah, that kind of sounds a little bit crazy, though. Uh, MCOC damn epic whale with a 25 bucks. Yo, uh, just popping in to show support. How are you enjoying this run so far, dude? I'm I'm loving it, man. This is this has been like an absolute joy so far. Um, just feel like nicely warmed up now. We had if you just joined in the last five minutes, you missed the uh, the most incredible solo. Oh, actually, I realized I've just uh, triggered this. Uh, and Lefty Knox with a five dollars. Uh, my Aegon is ranked up. I'm about to send him soon. <laughs> Lefty Knox. He was literally cooking in the background. He was watching this yep. and he was cooking. He's like, dude, in I'm going in. I'm going in. <laughs> it looks. It looks like um. Uh, what is, is it? Mike for his run. Is he primarily using Zemo or Shuri, or is he kind of just switching on every fight depending on which one is the best? Well, he used. Zemo, he's been using Zemo on a couple of them. He used Zemo on uh, Tigra, Zemo on on 
Hercules. Um, sure, it was mainly for uh, Apocalypse and uh, Captain Britain, because Captain Britain basically applies no debuffs to Shuri, uh, because she can uh, prevent herself from critting at all, yeah. which is nice. Um, yeah. Uh, Lucas Gomez with a five dollars. Will, will Herc work for this path? I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna have enough damage. I I wouldn't like jump in. Uh, if you, I guess, are one of the few who haven't ranked up Herc, uh, to like ranking him up right now for this path, I'm sure there's going to be other people who have done it, and they're going to be able to like showcase him and experiment with him a little bit more. And here, he might work for it. I don't know. He might. Uh, but yeah, we'll, I think time will tell with that. Uh, Herc's, uh, one thing that's going to hurt Herc a little bit is that I'm pretty sure uh, willpower is going to be at 50% potency here. So if you're like counting on the regen from Herc, he's he's not really going to be able to like run suicides. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind uh, for that. Um, Static with a five dollars, 30 plus revives uh, in uh, for themselves. Rank five ascend the Dagon with Heimdall, Angela, Odin, Champion, Champion. Interesting. That's for the for the Aegon synergy. I'm assuming. Uh, halfway into Wiccan, I do not regret ascending Aegon now, 100% best <laughs> champ, static. With the Dude, confirmation there. The Aegon stands are absolutely euphoric today, bro. You know, <laughs> we, we've had like, what was it, uh, just under four years of our champion, our favorite champion just being called irrelevant. Uh, but today he's here, he's carrying, getting the big rewards, we, we love to see it. Uh, I am being told uh, that uh, Pepe is actually on Spidey Supreme with Aegon right now. Is he and he is cooking. Oh, bro, that that's amazing. I can, I can confirm the cooking is happening. Does he also have a trap node? Uh, what's the trap node you've got um, when dealing with that one? Well, he can have a number of three trap nodes uh, because he's on one of the, the like final lane paths. Uh, so he can have either every 15 seconds all of the attacker's power is removed unless they're performing a special attack or dodging backwards when this timer expires, which is interesting. Um, or uh, every 10 seconds the defender gains an indefinite uh, perforate charge, making the next hit of their special attack passively unblockable. I think that's the node Pepe is dealing with. Um, the charges are consumed regardless of whether the attacker is hit. Uh, pause during either champion special attacks, dodging back and holding block, activates the timer, releasing block just as the timer expires, removes all the charges from the defender. So like kind of a unblockable specials, but like a skillful way of dealing with it, I guess. Okay. Uh, or you can have Whenever the attacker strikes a defender with a basic attack, a three-second timer is started. If the combo meter does not increase by five or more before the timer expires, the defender gains 100% untouchable passive for five seconds. So you want to do five-hit combos or you know, you know four-hit combos if you're finishing with Aegon's medium. Uh, interesting. I don't think that's really anything. Uh, that seems to be like the easier one. Or if you slip up, you're gonna you're gonna be wrecked. I do see Dragon Man's doing Dragon Man things. Yeah, um, he's not he's actually really not too bad to deal with. I could just probably get a bit more out of some of these uh, tries if I just play a little bit more open. Um, but yeah, Dragon Man seems really easy to get through. Not too if bad. you uh, remember, I don't know if you did this. Remember, remember if you bait his SP1 and you block it, he's going to get rid of his own power charges. So you don't have to worry about the power gain as much. Well, actually, that's a really good tip. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll look out for that. Because, yeah, it looks like once we get into the fight with all the guaranteed crits, like we're just not really getting, um, there's no opportunity to stun him. Any stuns, yeah. Uh, the same also happens when you bait uh, SP2. So he just, you don't even need to block that one. He just converts the power charge to a Fury. Yeah, I'm just trying to maximize, like, getting hit. and Just getting as much chunk damage as I can. 
Man, Chef Aegon. <laughs> <laughs> nice special two bait there, so we're still alive. Man, these are some... I'm really happy that these are quicker fights than um, Abyss was. Uh, although, I am, again, counting my chickens before they're hatch, and we're going to see with Grandmaster on how that's going to go. Yeah, Grandmaster's going to be like a, a four-hour fight with uh, excessive roleplay between <laughs> the phases. You know, there's going to be a comic book that opens up, and he tells you about his plan, and... <laughs> <laughs> But we got we got Dragon Man, and then there's just uh, three more opponents after this, right? We got Nova. Actually, just the two, right? It's Captain America and Nova. Oh, Captain Nova, America, Nova, yeah. and then Grandmaster. Yeah. yeah. My, that's crazy. This is encouraging though, because like I, I don't know, I feel like if you're doing Aegon or not, like the health pools aren't so insane that you know it's gonna take forever. I I do kind of like that about this. As well, if I, I, really I kind of they... go on, sorry, Dan. Go ahead. I'm, I'm um, trying I really to think they just tuned it really well. Sorry, I said go ahead and then I started talking like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, man, my brain's uh, completely fried. Sorry. But yeah, you, you're right. Like it, it does feel really well tuned. It's still like nothing is, um, nothing is absolutely face roll here. It's just like every fight has its own challenge. Just a lot of the time, I'm being very greedy. Speed. Mega combos, bro. Just trying to get the damage. Yeah, which is like, honestly, it's more fun to watch that way, which, you know, fair play for sure. Um, I, I think it's really well tuned given that um, Valiant dropped today. Valiant is happening right now. If you have two rank threes, you can get very Valiant right now. Um, and there are going to be deals for Valiant, two of them. Uh, during Cyber Weekend, so like people are just really encouraged to go through this, uh, at least do one clear, get their second rank three on Cyber Weekend, not really feel left out, not really feel the FOMO of not getting uh, that uh, you know highest progression title for the for the deal day, uh, and they have confirmed that the Valiant deals on Cyber Weekend will not be containing rank three materials, so all of that stuff. The highest uh, demand items are going to be in the uh, in the Paragon deals, yeah, it's which you can be... only go through the one time. I think yeah. to fully confirm that. Yeah, I feel like the Valiant. If I was to speculate, it's probably going to be like something seven star Titan or featured related. It's going to make it be like yeah, a yeah. acquisition based offer. I would assume. So worth it if you're there, but like you've already spent a lot potentially to get there, so it's just sort of a little icing on the cake there. Um, I can confirm that you are leading, from what I can see, uh, everybody else who's streaming at the moment. Uh, I think I that's very much going to change when we get to the Grand Master, I would assume. <laughs> you never know, though. <laughs> Well, I guess with that, you got to get him into the wounded phases to do damage. You can't just uh, steamroll, but... Exactly, yeah. yeah. Pepe is a little bit further ahead. He is using shields, which is really cool. Uh, I don't know how much work shields is putting in. Uh, oh, but yeah. Uh, is, is Pepe... Did he go opposite path, or did he go on this, uh, this one? Yeah, he went... Uh, the opposite path basically down um uh, uh spider-man supreme uh null uh he's a null right now i don't know who his first fight was let me double check on that so is he about to uh, reach the grandmaster as well uh he's yeah, got null and shocker right and then shocker yeah, yeah. null and shocker yep shocker could get kind of annoying honestly yeah for sure okay so he went down the path with uh, uh with uh what's his face 
uh, Red Goblin. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Which is what KT did, I think. Yep, yep. And then for the second one, do you know where he started? It could be like Mantis or Strife. I'm checking on that right now. It is kind of cool how it, it seems like almost everyone picked a different path and there's like, there's so many different combinations that you could do in every run so that it's not just like there's unique six paths. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, he went with Elsa in the second path. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that uh, your decision of which path to take um, is going to determine which combination of trap nodes you're going to be dealing with as well in the same path. So if your roster matches a particular path better, dude, good job. That's. I just saw Dragon Man also went down. Thank I you. leave for yeah, five minutes, and your and your two fights pass where we were. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, we're we're. Absolutely I mean, that Red it. Guardian was a huge time save, man. <laughs> <laughs> we did, we did. Oh no! You know what I should have done? I I forgot to heal up on this. I don't even know if this is soloable. There's only one way to this. find out. Uh, he's getting abilities and stuff from classes and and such. Um, there was something, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's give let's give a solo. I think I think we should. Oh, dude, I should have healed up for this solo. <laughs> it says, um, uh, "Oh, yeah, he gets like his sig ability." Yeah. He must rotate between the classes then. Yeah. So yeah. But like, what does that give him? Not much, right? Like, what does that give him defensively? I wonder. Right, I'm I not think gonna it go... probably is based on his kinetic stuff. I'm not going to go for the solo here. It looks like here. it happens go like... Speed. Yeah, just go for it, man. I feel Fight like it, it seems like it happens when you parry him. Then you get the effects mm. of what he would do when he would parry you. If you're not parrying him. Yeah. And then you if can get parrying. a concussion <laughs> debuff at some point. Which, again, Aegon's not going to really care if a, if a single concussion debuff lands on him. I think he'll be fine. I hear this is pre going pretty great. Uh, MCOC damn epic whale with another 15 bucks. Aegon looks uh, looks like Aegon better than Herc so far initially. What are your thoughts speed wise? Mods feel free to chime in based on what you've seen in other other streams. Uh, I have I'm yet to see a Herc in play, uh, so that's I guess where we're at right now. Um, oh no, I've got this ability accuracy one and I can't shrug it off. I think I'm about to get clipped. Oh okay. Nope, nope. Get you got it. You got it. We can wait it out. We can wait it out. Yeah, we'll just wait it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I think that happens attacking. when you... I guess it happens when you hit him with, uh, with like, a bunch of his little kinetic energy yeah. charges. Yeah. So you should be good for the next little bit here because he's low on those. Also, like, just keep baiting his specials. He does lose his kinetic charges when you bait his specials. So yep. just want to make sure you keep baiting them. What uh, rarity striker do you have on Aegon right now? No. Oh. Oh. It's oh, all right. That's rough. Sorry, bro. I, hey, it's all good. It's all good. I I totally it didn't even occur to me like going into that fight that um I could get the solo. But to be fair, I didn't expect to solo like anything today. So the fact that we even <laughs> soloed uh, friggin' Red Guardian <laughs> is like absurd. Like that was actually nuts. That was amazing. Uh, that's the highlight of the stream for me. I think it was uh, probably the maybe slightly more. I don't know if it's difficult. I think they're both pretty easy, to be fair. It's just like the difficulty comes when you get rooted during the specials. And I think there's something about a Red Guardian toward the end going unblockable. He is glancing and like. What? <laughs> that's a lot of glancing. <laughs> that's a lot Even of glancing. Though, yeah, it's a lot of glancing, dude. Okay. The egg on so bullying is um, Go on, Going sir. back to the Herc question, I know that Andrew has Herc on the team. I don't know how much he's been used. Um, it seems like he used him for Omega Sentinel, for sure. 
I uh, can't say exactly how well that went. He is um, live, and I'm going to be looking at his stuff right now. Adam is saying Valiant Deals have an Awakening Gem 7 star. Uh, has, somebody, has somebody finished already? Because... That, I don't, unless if there was some leak or something, I don't think any of that information is out yeah. and no, like we don't know. There's no yeah, like I've, CCP I've leak. Yeah. 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 Uh, how does it feel to have gotten kicked from the CCP years ago, eventually re reinstated, and now have Kabam tell everyone to watch a Necropolis live stream? <laughs> life, life works in uh, mysterious ways, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but how do you feel about, uh, what was he? Uh, was it Black Panther? What was the reason for the kicking? Oh, Killmonger. <laughs> oh, right. I remember That's that. Right. Yeah. Look, it, yeah. it, was, uh, it was a long time ago, you know? Listen, AQ was like yeah. the Wild West back then, man. I don't blame you. I mean, my God. All those coordinating and... AQ was a completely different game to what we're playing now in terms of like... Yeah. Uh, I've got mad respect for anybody that uh, was it played AQ at AW back in those days. And now we've got the freaking calendar dudes. And that, that thing is lovely. Yeah, that old, the old war map, man, with Thorns Electro, literally okay, every yeah, war. Yeah. <laughs> Thorns Electro, bringing in the, what is it, the pre-nerf Black Widow. Yep, it's the only option. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this this may be the the first fight that's putting up of resistance to Aegon, yeah. I also need to check yeah. out. This game. We'll see, we'll see. If he gets his fifty percent, you know, floor for ability accuracy reduction, then like technically every other hit is going to be a full Aegon hit. So let's see how this all plays out. So oh, okay. Kepa is at the Grandmaster right now. Yeah, uh, Campo, I think you called this entirely correctly. Right. Yeah. Like every other hit should be fine. Yeah, look at this. Dude. Or, oh, we can cook. We can cook. Yeah, it like you'll see every once in a while, no like a little. Egg on. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime you see like 5k or 6k crit, that that means uh, no visibilities. But anytime you see like 18, 19, 20, then Aegon's just Aegoning it. <laughs> Love it. That's insane. Oh, okay. I should have been a bit more. Nova's still, uh, he's still really annoying, and I, I don't want to take this match slow. Like, we're so close to the finish line, I just want to get the Grandmaster. So we're going to do some reckless and irresponsible plays. But they should be you're you're going to pull a maneuver? You're never going to financially <laughs> recover from this? Hell yeah, dude, hell yeah. I think um, we, we've got to be on, like, set, how many revives are we on? Uh, the chat count. You've got to be close to 100, I bet. Right now. I think 70, 80 would be my guess. Yeah. It's like I'm empty in the second. I filled up a stack of 25 and I'm nearly at the end of that. I also, I think I was like a bit over. I had like 40 or 50 at the start. Yeah, he's Finish. like permanently ramped. It's like. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. what's your plan for exploration, Seaton? Um. I think I'm going to chill on exploration. Like, I'm not in a big rush to do it. I'm just going to see what other people do. Like, I really wanted to get an early completion on all the exploration. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of happy to sit back and watch other people do it. And then, like, figure out a plan based on, you know, um, what other paths Aegon's really good for. And also what um, I can get from upgrades in the... That was a full back-to-back -back SB2 dexes, by the way. Just want to point that out. That <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean monstrous, to... absolutely insane. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think his SB2 is that bad. I know he's just so much beams and lights just throwing at me. It's very yeah, flashy. I think isn't he's it? trying to say Seton's in the zone, boys. Mm -hmm. Seton is mm -hmm. in the zone. <laughs> oh yeah. no, I died. Oh. Some damage. Great try, though. Uh, the most encouraging thing about this run, and this is kind of why I just wanted to egg on everything as well, not only being the, the best, the speediest option, but it like it shows you can just build a whole team around Aegon. Um, mm -hmm. At least four champions. Like the only thing that we 
haven't yet confirmed is like whether Aegon works for the Grand Master or not. And like you can do this a lot more efficiently than I've done it today. So um, yeah, for sure. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's great to know, man. That's really really good. Uh, I'm gonna chuck up a level three revives. I was gonna save most of the level three revives for Grand Master, but I can save it for the top two. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you have um, checked on boost recently. Um, I have, I yes. I topped up a just before this one. Okay. So I'm good. Oh, yeah, perfect, yeah. I need to do small boosters if you can remind me, like five minutes. But that should be like mm -hmm. literally as we're coming to the Grandmaster anyway. So. Sounds great, yeah. I do love that Aegon works for this fight too. I'm like, I, I was <laughs> theorizing that maybe this would be the one. Yeah, this yeah. Would we, be the one we, we keep on thinking like, when when's that Aegon and War gonna come? And it just uh, <laughs> it just doesn't until unless it's the Grand Master. But they were saying on the live stream that champions that are traditionally good for Grand Master should be very good for Grand Master. Mm -hmm. so that I makes just, sense. Uh, Hobus with a two dollar saying, "What's been more fun, Abyss or Necro so far?" I think Necro's just been more fun. Like, feels like a lot of these are just absolute like blaster bosses, like. And there's so much more power at the disposal with like the six star rank five ascended Aegon than like I did yeah. Abyss with you know five star rank five champions. And I think most of us mm -hmm. that did it at launch did that as well. So having like this whole additional level of power in now, ah, I'm probably dead here. Still good. We still chucked him a bit. Yeah. Uh, two more, two more revives, and we should be good. Doom and Gamora just been, just been chilling, bro. They just been. I mean, Nick put in a little bit of work at least on that one fight. Yep. That was a pretty, pretty nice start. <laughs> yes. He's just. Have you had to dip into units yet? Um. Yeah, I brought like a stack of. Uh, was it twenty? Uh, Twenty-five revives just topped up my forty percent. But I haven't needed to like massively dip in. Mm -hmm. I probably brought a few too many units for this, just because I was worried that I'd get stuck. Better over prepared than the other way. Okay, I need to get back in the zone. I'm just gonna like smash a, a bomb stack here for like 25. I think I wanna save like a lot of. I haven't used any health potions as well. I have a lot of those overflowing. Um, I was thinking for. Grandmaster, just that is the fight to use health potions, isn't it? Are there any other fights that you've seen on any other streams, uh, gents, that like seem like health potion fights? Because everything so far has just been like a revive up, and you're, you're pretty good. Not that I've seen. Um, Apocalypse for Mike was definitely one of those. Got to heal fights. Uh, he was using Shuri though on that fight. Yeah, there's like like blocking the specials and stuff and then um the indestructible those seemed like the biggest factors in that fight i think um another reminder on the audio for seaton uh, yeah thank you sorry I'll, I'll move a little bit closer yeah cool rotate this around a little bit here. This, this should be a little bit better. Okay, so we're gonna smash in all the hits we can here. Nice. This should get him nice. below 10. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so. Then just one more. A little striker oh. action. Ah. Oh. oh, man. What was that? Um, what is what that is damage? That? Is that the node that? or something? <laughs> you know what? I haven't even thought about the node. <laughs> oh my god. Because I, I don't think it's in his kit, so <laughs> have you seen that video? It's I'm like game say... Oh, um Have you seen like that meme video? It's like that uh game developer and it's like, oh <laughs> here's the the square. What are you gonna put in the square? <laughs> and it's the triangle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like it's just the, the circle or something just goes to like everything. That's, I oh, feel favorite. like, yes. um, I love that one so much, man. 
We're gonna put Aegon in every hole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, gentlemen, we have arrived. No. It's Ooh. time. It's time. We got the Necropolis Grandmaster here. Let's go. Let's get it. One fight remains. Okay, so phase one, we got red light, green light. And, um, what's the difference? We also got to knock him down as well. So I think, uh, let's heal up Aegon a little bit, but probably not too much. Actually, I've got a crazy amount of potions, to be fair. Let's have a look at the boosters. Um, you know what? Just for this, like, this is first Grandmaster. I'm going to use the full, like, hour one of both. Yeah, yeah he looks boy. so cool. So I just think Somebody just chat saying normal, restart uh, their run, which I think is uh, is, a, is a valiant <laughs> comment right there. You start the run, yeah? Just just thanks out. How much how much money to restart the run? Oh god, <laughs> there's not enough money in the world for that, dude. Okay. <laughs> this, uh... this has the normal uh, like light is banned, parry is banned stuff, right? As far as I know. So that's what is it light? Okay, green light. So when it's green, you can hit him. Okay. Got it. How did you get that unstoppable? Oh, is that from the red light? Oh, that's the red light. Okay. The unstoppable still Man, persists. this is fun. What? What? Ooh, is already... what? <laughs> oh, boy. What was that unstoppable from? It was paused. Yeah, dude. What triggered the unstoppable there? Uh, I mean, the, my only guess is like one of the actions was banned and you did the action or something. Right, I'm going to continue to throw revives at this. Uh, can... <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get reading. Yeah, get reading. Yeah, we'll see, we'll, we'll see learn as we go. Yeah, we'll yeah. learn as we go. Thank you, Pit Team. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Okay, parry is banned. So that means no more parry. Oh, it's oh, like man, when he throws a heavy it attack, worked. dude. Yeah, but the unstoppable doesn't go away. That That's something really I wasn't slow. aware of. It is really slow. Yeah, what, what's, what does that come from, dude? I'm so confused. Um... This I I thought it would be the the green light initially, but it's not that. Knocked him down, so I just need to dex. It's just Aegon banned, bro. I don't think so. You can't see which tactics are banned, and which aren't. Yeah, that's a bit of a drag. Okay, okay right. We got a wounded we face. Go. Yeah. Got him wounded. We're getting through this. Like uh, wounded oh. Doom oh. is doing no red. No, dude, he red lights <laughs> turned oh, no. wounded. Oh, get in the bin. We could do that. That's so oh, oh that's so rough. wait, that's it so pauses rough. the thing. Okay, all right. We did something there. So. Wow. Okay, so that's really good to know that you can get red lit during the wounded. My God. Is he like crazy. copying the unstoppable from Aegon? Do you think that was the thing? Because it does it say that in his um, abilities? Let me oh, take a that's look. Interesting. That's a good theory. The only thing um, I can think of that I probably should go on there is it. It didn't happen when we used Doom, right? Like it was. It was fine. I'll try. I'll try using Gamora now. Um, and see if we also have the same issue. So we want to go for like a parry at the start. Heavy attack. Or it's not going to be able to stay, stay alive too long. There's no timer for the red light, green light, too. It can just happen like at random, it seems. Mm -hmm. Okay, lights are banned. So you need to knock him down. That's where oh, I got it. Go. Okay, this should be oh, wounded yeah. then. Okay, so we just got to watch out for the red. Oh, okay. So red light. Oh, okay. So you get there's like a grace period when the red light text appears. Yeah, yeah. Where the green the, the green passive expires. 
That's pretty right. cool. That's, that's pretty. Cool. That's that's, that's fair. Out. That seems fair. Yep. I just don't know what that unstoppable was. Still, I th I think it was the un I think it was copying. That's the only thing that I can think of. Oof. That's kind of fun. Oh, man. did I block? I guess I think I blocked there, and that triggered it at the end. Oh, so it's literally no input. Literally, you can't stand there. You can't do anything. Oh, you know, when red light ends, do you get like an indestructible or something? Because if you're like right up in his face, he can smack you. Yeah, that's otherwise. that's why I went for like the preemptive block there. <clears throat> I'm just going to try again one more time. I'm pretty sure, near certain, it actually is um, that interaction with the unstoppable uh, that he's just copying that. But we can't do anything with that. So I think we just got to remove suicides and do it with Gamora, if that's the case. Uh, we should just be able to see on the first one. No, no, I got unstoppable there. He didn't uh, copy yeah, it. Yeah, he's not copying it. it. It was after his heavy attack. I think but, it's the heavy attack, yeah. But that that would seem like it's bugged because I, I the heavy attack text just says that it one shots you. It doesn't say. Yeah. And the, it's it says that it, the heavy. It says that it can't be interrupted, but for some reason, the the heavy thing is paused. Because you he's know it's unstoppable it, again. Yeah. It looks like he's supposed to only have the unstoppable <laughs> oh, during the... Uh-oh. <laughs> we kind of almost... He's red-lighted, he's red -lighted your Elgato. It's <laughs> um... red-lighted my Elgato here, sure. <laughs> Let's see what Chad is saying. Because um... it says he can't, it can't interrupt the heavy attack, so I could see that little heavy um, in unstoppable icon coming up, but for some reason it's lasting after the animation. That's the part that doesn't make sense. Just, people are just saying, don't let him throw heavies. Um, That's great in theory. <laughs> yeah, people are saying that heavy is bugged. Heavy, is, heavy seems to be bugged. Yeah, hey boys. Um, well, I guess we just we got to wail our way through it, man. Yeah, just heavy, heavy attacks or no. <laughs> no heavy attacks. It's, wor it's worked this far. We're gonna do you just stop stop playing. <laughs> Quit out, wait for them to fix it, obviously. Oh, this phase one lasts a bit longer. Let's go down lower. Oh. Nice one. There we go. What 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 does phase one last until? And set with a striker, does that do it? Let me see, let me see. Uh, phase two starts at 60%, so we're still in phase one. Oh, okay, we're, we're still well yeah, within Yeah, and it seems like the heavy attack is bugged. I'm, I'm trying to ping someone about it right now. Um, Good. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks it looks like that's what the bug is that it's supposed to be like an unstoppable heavy during the animation, and for some reason the passive is sticking through. So that that's going to be super annoying. Okay, well I do, you know I've I think I've just got to fully accept that it's not going to get fixed while I'm live right now, and we're gonna keep wailing, boys. We gotta do some yeah. live QA here, <laughs> some live quality assurance. <laughs> It is definitely lunchtime in Vancouver, so I'm not mm -hmm. expecting this to get fixed during the stream. <laughs> We're pretty darn close to phase two. He's got the knockdown. The thing is, like, even without the wounding, like, Aegon's just cutting through that health pool. All right, now we phase two. Phase shift. Okay, can I... I'm so mad. Grandmaster uh -oh. says gain a buff. Okay, cool. I am so mad that his heavy is bugged. Like, oh, okay, oh, so it is yo, yo, MSD, how's it going, bro? Dude, I just got to him like ten minutes ago. I went in for one fight. He threw a heavy to start, and the unstoppable didn't go away. I almost, I almost cried. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so fun. that's what it is. It took, it took us a few tries to figure out exactly what the problem was, but that okay. Thanks for confirming it. Okay. Oh, what a yeah. drag. I, it is, uh, ugh, I, uh, not. Mm, Somebody not added a zero to the duration, probably. <laughs> Fat fingered it. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, okay. that's going to be rough as the fight goes on, too, because, yep. like, when he gets stun immune. 
Like, how are you going to... Well, I mean, Aegon's going to be unblockable, but... This is going to be, like, the most unsatisfying, like, day one finish ever, but it's going to be a finish, boys. We're making it across the line. Halfway almost, right? 57, yeah. I don't want to scare you, but I am seeing some interesting stuff from the final 1%. Mm -hmm. um. Oh, Aegon yeah. Is, Aegon is still doing, like, 100, 200k damage, just smashing face into each other. <laughs> he is, bro. He is. But um, he's indestructible. <laughs> okay, let me get yeah. my head in the game. I want to make yeah. sure. Um, try not to bait that heavy attack ever. So we got to just play so, hyper aggressive. Just don't allow him to throw heavy. So, MSD, did you finish or? No, I just You're... got here and I'm going to wait. Build's fixed. I'm not gonna push through. I have my goals. That's and fair. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let this button <laughs> dissuade me. Yep. Yeah, right. man. It's the right approach. Yep. I respect that. I want. Hopefully, it's a live fix. Yeah, they, I am they can't. So. They can't leave this go for a month. That would be awful. No. Maybe like the final Dude, phase was not a working? live fix. I don't know. I, so much like rides on this content with like the offers coming up and whatnot. Be interesting. Yeah, that would be awful. Grandmaster yep. says land a critical attack, dodge, block. Dodge. An Aegon crit? I don't know. I've heard. I've heard it can be done. Oh, look at that damage. I would say you're critting him with your best shot, even. So. <laughs> Oh, he didn't say Grandmaster says, though, did he? Look at that. Oh. We gaming, boys. We gaming. No whiffs today, son. <laughs> Aegon can't whiff anyway, so we're good. <laughs> oh, no. No! Oh, no, Brandon. <laughs> okay, well, wait. I can still do this. I can still get him wounded. Oh, one more prompt. One more prompt. Grandma, the best performance says, is intercept. Come on. Unstoppable intercept. Come oh. on. Okay, we're right. Almost. Yes. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Come on, you're going to run wait, out wait, the unstoppable too. Oh, that okay, worked out perfectly. In, oh, wait, you're about to get inverted controls, so just watch out for the whole phase. Whole phase, yeah. Yeah. This is going to be the end of me. I <laughs> deal. So no, three hundred thousand damage because of all those yeah. furies, all the, man. It's kind of tokens, busted. Yeah. <laughs> no, because of, um, the way it works with modified attack is kind of busted. Yeah, but it did significantly more than the basic hits. Like it, it almost. Yeah, the did. striker feels. Wait, it, <laughs> I I didn't even see that, dude. Right, let's let's try again. Yeah, don't the tokens increase your attack? Maybe it's scaling weird with the striker. Maybe the guile is increasing the striker's. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, it gains power in this final phase. Mm -hmm. It's based on distance. Yeah, the closer you are, the less power he gets. Oh, oh no. no. The heavy attack. Okay, it's all right, boys. Right, we're just going to do the... Uh... The Aegon, just, the Aegon thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just, <laughs> it's just brawl node. We just, they just put brawl. This is so dumb, bro. Oh my god. Uh, we we kind of uh, supposed to have man, some kind of protection. Bummer, is he like is, is Aegon supposed to be doing the full damage when he's not wounded? I think he has a one percent damage cap universally. Oh, so, that so that's nothing. Out. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. So it looks like real damage, but <laughs> I'm watching. Uh, I've got Pepe stream up. He's <laughs> Grandmaster's at one one health, not one percent, one health. <laughs> oh man! But he, what's the he... last thing he has to do? Probably get to yep. special three, right? I don't know how how many phases he's done. He's got. Um, yeah, I, I I can't tell which ones he's completed and which ones he has left. Uh, if indestructible's gone, he's gotten special two. If the death immunity is gone, he's gotten special one. If protection is gone, he intercepted. So then there's one more thing that's left, which is probably the special three one. The immortality. Are those um? Yeah. Oh, are those uh? 
Oof. persistent progress on those? Yeah, yeah, yeah you complete no, one. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't okay. read. So like, you can't could you get imagine? <laughs> yeah, getting that all in one try, like that would be like a worse, way worse six point. Absolute lifesaver. Nice. Especially if you're going to power through with Aegon on the rest of the path. You basically have like four free spots. Yeah. And those, um, the Guile charges, those give you more combat power rate, I believe, during the final phase, which should make getting to the, uh, oh, the specials. Oh, that's nice. So you should hopefully, if you've done a bunch of them, get... Okay, we're just gonna What's we're the, just gonna do some egg on that things. striker. Oh, we've made Dude, it to the final phase. Dude, I am a hundred percent sure that, seems, that there's some weird stuff going really on with uh, the strikers <laughs> there. Oh no! Oh my god! He oh no! <laughs> wait a minute! Wait, wait! If I hit him with oh, a special one, go. right? We, we remove one of the things. Oh, so if, the intercept yeah. immediately removes the health. Yeah, it doesn't even tick down. Oh, like okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, well, so now we just have to do one of every special. Yeah. Yeah, so I think you, you did that the one, right? It has to land. Uh, it has to land, yeah. Did it not land? Dude, no, this is... So it doesn't count. This fight is confusing oh. enough without, like, the uh, the unstoppable bug, bro. I'm just, like, toasted yeah. over here. And then this has that crazy, like, every action changes your controls thing. Except yep. for block. <laughs> Oh man, there's no way my little brain's gonna be able to keep track of I know. this. I <laughs> know. This, this, this is crazy. This is chaos. Oh, his, okay. His power, his power is now based on regular hits instead of any type of modification. Do you have to actually land them as well? Yeah, you have to knock them down with them, I think. Okay, so here's potentially special. Let's do one. SP1 first, yeah. Okay, that's done. That should be done, right? And so yeah. now you need to do special two, land it, and then special three, and then you're done. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's go for that. Yeah, yeah, I can see how okay. we can get if both of those in a row. Healing up to full and taking like a bunch of hits seems like an easy way to build up power quickly. It's not a bad idea. I noticed like when you when you two. took a combo or two there, you jumped up real fast with that CPR rate increase. Yeah. Um so uh, kind of seems like the way to go. How guile do you have? I think four or five. Oh, eight. 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 Yeah. Huh. So is he not unblockable? Interesting. No, I guess not. The purple one is immortality, okay. right? Yeah, that's yeah, the that's special three. Yeah, let him hit you with this and you'll jump up to an SP2. Well, if you if he gets hit by the special two, he's gonna lose like all of his health. Yeah, yeah. It's so, so he, weird he to play with a control in inversion, dude. And didn't die from it. Yeah, if you block it, it deals less. The control inversion like, is nuts. I just uh, I'm I'm really struggling with a uh, control inversion. Actually, I think it's probably the best thing here because it doesn't matter too much on the champion, right? You probably use a team of five. That's right? true. That's and right. And just yeah. um. If there was a time yeah, to use that, point. it's probably this point. Go Maybe on. you should drop your suicides as well. Uh... Um, yeah, because it's I mean, not... He's probably not going to survive that long enough for it to matter. Nothing here well, is you, now you, based on damage, right? If you want right? to throw in other characters, yeah. Uh, so I can just get this, and then I can just go straight back in, because like it doesn't matter the yeah, damage. Yeah. Yeah, I just yeah, need yeah, to yeah. knock him out now. Yep. It's five health. Maybe, yeah. maybe put some. Maybe put some points in like health and stuff. Maybe like boost um, your health. I just, I just want to yeah. say, everybody, uh, a fix is being worked on. Good, good. I'll, I'll, I'll do that if it gets really bad. I think I can oh. get it down in a couple more tries now. Is the fury one of the things you have to remove, or is it just the indestructible and the immortality? Just the... Stays, it's the indestructible immortality. Okay. He's also not. Hold, hold on. Did you just stun him? He's not stunning me in. What? Oh. 
Okay. I think Doom's just not um, quite tanky enough. I, I Doom, think yeah. you should put on some masteries that boost your health, put on a health booster, um, and try your best to avoid the heavy from him. I know, I know that's yeah. easier said than done for sure. No, 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 it's all right. I think, uh, I, I think you're definitely right there. I think we go max survivability. Uh, then we kind of just need to plan our way to the special two, special three, and try and yeah, find. Yeah, because an if he's point. if he's unstoppable, you're not going to be able to land that SP two. That's going to yep. be the biggest problem. Yeah, here. actually, that's uh, a really, really good point there. Um, like, I, I just, I literally just can't, cannot touch, uh, block this fight for now. Yeah. Can I avoid that? I don't think this matters. I don't think anything else really matters. Let's just get the the increased health. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, increase health. Uh, I'm sure you have health boosts and stuff as well. Um... Oh god, dude, this is uh, this is very scuffed. This is so scuffed, bro. I'm so scuffed. I mean, it's like it's hard enough without the uh, the bug. Oh, is really bad. Stop. It's really oh man, bad. he threw it right it's away. Really right away. Yeah. It's like it's like a he run. Clearly has like a heavy a, bias. Yeah, a run yeah. ruiner right there. Which like wouldn't be a problem unless if you got hit by it and stuff. Yeah. If it were the normal abilities. Yeah, Strife if it were to just expire like it normally does. Like heavy Strife hitter could remove it at least. Yeah. Ooh, strife. So. Temporarily. Yep. Okay. Or at least let's... it'll allow you to continue the phase. Yeah. Yeah. I can do this. I can do this. It's really difficult, but I can do this. I would say start with a heavy attack. To get the combo shield, let him hit you. Oh, you think instantly, He's more yeah? To... Yeah. Yeah, good, good shot. I wasn't even thinking about, like, what he's gonna do that time. I thought he let that hit me. Did he not okay. say Grandmaster says or whatever? That, that is a. Does that still apply? No, no, that I has think there... nothing to do with it. Uh, is why it the reverse get controls? Were you. I think because you, you got the tokens. And you were trying, you were trying to dash out. So in the process, you were like at the exact moment he sent the the prompts, you were failing them at the all at the same time. Gotcha. Okay, good work, good work. Okay, this is looking good. We uh, let's just go for the. Okay, perfect, perfect. That's fine. Yeah, it's not gonna kill you, but it's gonna take most of your health away. Here we go. Right. Here we go. Oh, two. Two. Perfect, yes, you perfect. got it. Yeah. Okay. okay. There we right. go. Dude. Good, good, so good. So now we just okay. gotta get a special three. Special three. That's it. Special three yeah. easier to land than the special Ooh. two. The special two, that's the the tricky bit. Um, yeah, because who think... cares if he's unstoppable? Special three yeah, will think... land. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, peel to max, maybe, for this one. Uh, 100%. You'd I think have you're got... going to have to bait out one special one from him. And then. Yeah. Special one, yeah. I did. Uh, MSD, really, really good uh, shout on the heavy attack at the start, by the way. That yeah, is, uh, he's playing into it. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, the heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's so demerving when you just like choke the ton of health potions in. Luckily, I've got one or two. <laughs> You don't need, you don't, yeah, you can't superior, use your power boosters. Superior class, you can't power boost against a superior class anyway. And also, like, it doesn't matter because power boost is based on damage they take from their damage max health. Deal. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just need him to not throw his bugged yeah, heavy. Here, the heavy is not game over. Here, since you're just going for the SP3, the heavy is still fine. Um, yeah, because it allows you to trade off hits. That's true. Oh no, oh, am I just, am I just dead so here? Tricky. Oh, the converted controls are so rough. Yeah, dude, yeah. I just, wow. I can't get my head around <laughs> um, it changing every one. It's so, so tricky. You have to like swipe back, swipe forward if you want to keep baiting specials. The only thing I, I, do, I can I do of... is like figure oh. out how to dash in and then four combo and then just keep on repeating that. That seems like the thing. Because then yeah. you'd end up was... with regular controls, right? You yeah. might not want a four combo. Do you want just three, and that'll leave you on the same? Well, it's well, even dashing back and dashing in is just uh, messing 
messing up my head a little bit. Okay, four, two, three. So unlucky at the start. I like there. how he sat just out of range there. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oh my god. Okay. Come on. Okay. Come on. Okay. Play come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Come, come on. on. Yeah. Here it is. Come Here on, it is. Relic. Let's go. Let's go. Is that, is. is that going to be it? I don't does know if this KO is. him? That's I, the question. I really hope it does. You're not going to skip this. <laughs> Okay, but everything is gone, so just hit him once. So I, I just need to hit him once oh, on the next one. one. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't kill him. That's oh shocking. my gosh. That's rude. Dude, I think you have to finish Ant -Man. with Ant-Man. Ant-Man, let's go. Ant-Man, Ant-Man, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One light attack with Ant-Man. We got this, boys. We got this. We got this. Come on. The light. Come on. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god, dude, that fight. That final phase, even without the bug, done. sucks, bro. That is, yeah. Bring no a reverse, mistaken. bring a reverse immune controls champion. I think like Aegon yeah. three support and a champion that's immune to reverse controls, and like I think you're cooking there for the easy path run. I think you can make that much easier. And oh, let's, the go! let's go, the maestro. Dude. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as well. We're gonna do a live crystal opening here. Uh, we got the the I'm seven star sure hero. You're the first one. You're yeah, the first. Oh god, it, it didn't feel like mega satisfying at the end, just because like I couldn't get my head around that phase and that fight. Oh, it's just a little bit cheesy, bugged, but I'm glad we got it done, dude. How how long was that? Like two hours and fifty two minutes there. So overall, crazy time, crazy crazy time. So what are these crystals? Ooh. There are seven star class. Hero Crystal Selector. So you pick so you any one of the open classes. open your gem first. Okay, so you, you go for... That, that is Ashley's already good shot. That way you can... If you don't have a, a seven star of a specific class, you can pick a class to get one in. I, I think I'm probably going to choose Tech and Tunnel Shuri, I think is at least what I'm thinking initially. But, yeah, gem... I, I, I mean, like, pretty much anything can work. Like, we'll see. Okay. It's going to be a seven star, two to three... Science gem. Oh, oh. Titania, 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 dude. I I feel like it's got to be titania, yeah. man. Yeah, that is that is spicy. Hulk. Yeah, also yeah, we do have, have Hulk, Hulk, but yeah. it's, I I feel like Hulk would actually be quite uh, nice and a little bit cheesy for some of the bosses in here as well. So, yeah. yeah so those other ones should contain a selector, I think. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's open this up. So let's I do, just want to I want to do one at a time, right? To so go for tech. And then... Oh, you want Shuri still? Yeah, I want Shuri. Shuri's the number one. Uh, and then aside from that, it's probably like... Sunspot. Okay, so let's go tech. Let's go yeah, back. These aren't Nexuses either, so... So then it appears as a seven-star tech hero crystal. It does feel like a little, a little bit of a gamble. What is, it? is it one in five, one in six? Just needs to just needs to be Shuri, bro. Just needs to be Shuri. Okay, it's gonna be a seven star version of a uh, guillotine. Not bad, but not Shuri. Not bad. So not bad. It could be worse. It could be worse than the guillotine. Yeah. It's a very nice synergy, especially with Amira. Um Okay, looks like we're going double tech here then. Let's open this one. Let's go for the tech crystal. Go back to uh, the crystal stash. I didn't think there was anything else to open after this, right? This is the the last big thing. Unless we get a duplicate of something, then in which case we've got a Titan crystal to open. But let's check it out. Okay, come on. Final seven star is going to be a seven star Iron Man Infinity War. Uh, it does awaken him, makes him a bit more annoying on BGD. So that's my my small amount of copium there, but um, yeah, unfortunately no Shuri. However, that is a duplicate. Okay, this is it. We're rolling it straight over into a Titan crystal here. Ooh, let's uh, let's give it a go. 
Okay, so like Silk Photon would be incredible. Photon, yeah. Yeah, that would just Rank be... 3 Photon, dude, that'd be awesome. Jugs as well would be magnificent. Box, Kindred. There's some big, big wins. It's going to be a seven star version. Hey, it's a Gladiator. Gladiator at the moment, not the best champion, but I'm actually like, I'm optimistic. I'm going to use the copium of that this man is probably going to get a pretty good rework <laughs> or tune up. Um, so, yeah, uh, there we go. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into today's live stream. Just want to give a huge thank at you to. Um, Everybody that jumped on call this evening, we've had Campo, Cam, Metal Sonic Dude, Simular. Thank you guys really for helping me this evening, guiding me kind of in the right direction of what we're what we're going up against, because this has been an absolutely mammoth stream. But Necropolis completion in three hours. Just crazy, dude. I thought I was gonna be up to like 1 2 a.m. in my um uh first path in here. But we've we got this sorted, and yeah, I'll slowly work on exploration once the the nameless uh, version of the Grandmaster gets fixed. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Um, thanks to uh, Legacy. Shout out to Legacy and Coop in the chat. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. Take care, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.